All right, what's up? Andrew Mahone here with Natalie Champagne. We are going to be streaming some PTCGO tonight. We just got in and got some Forbidden Light stuff. Natalie was nice enough to build the decks for me while I was at work, so thank you, Natalie. Mm -hmm. what's well, only a few. We only have Malamar and, and Buzz, Buzz. A real well. kid. How you doing? What's up, What's up Riley? Riley? Yeah, so apparently we've got Malamar and we have got Buzzwool built. So we are going to be doing that today on our stream. I know it's been a while since I've been on PTCGO. I got like one match up this week. Unfortunately, I was doing my finals. I have been so busy with my finals for grad school and just like pulling all nighters, doing crazy stuff like that that I have not been doing since I was like, uh, you know, 20. So it's been a while. But uh, what's up, everybody? Hey, I'm feeling good. Thank you for asking. Just excited to be done with finals and back on the grind here. Uh, I got a bunch of brand new artwork that I've commissioned for the channel as well. So I'm like really excited about that. It's in in progress it's all uh you know gonna be unveiled shortly with the new name as well because we're gonna be renaming the channel and that is exciting also so let's uh let's dive right in where's the malamar deck it's named malamar. there it is let's go and first let's take a look at the malamar let's show off the mimic you in. what we working with we ended up take it out oh thank you so much ruben shout out to ruben thank you appreciate it ruben for the donation you rock uh, check out that full art, Lily. That's awesome. But uh, yeah, we ended up taking out all the professor's letters, uh, fit in a couple choice bands here, and we wanted to just like get another non EX, non GX attacker. I think it'd be here. good for the mirror. Mm -hmm. So I think copy. the, the Mimi Q is definitely cool uh, with that copycat. And then what were we saying, Natalie? For the mirror. The mirror, right. And you're going to copy your opponent's uh, whatever this attack is uh, photon, photon geyser. geyser. So yeah. Uh, copy your opponent's Photon Geyser with that copycat. If your opponent's Pokemon use an attack that isn't a GX attack during their last turn, use it as this attack. So you still have to discard all basic psychic energies. Uh, but let's see. Yeah, and so you could have just three psychic energies on it, though, right. and knock out yeah, a... Yeah, it's a great attacker. Yeah, so it's great in the mirror. That is awesome. So let's uh, let's give this a roll and see how it goes. Sir Maniac Gamer, we do not have Zygarde yet. I got the main deck so far with the codes we had. Eventually, it will be some Zygarde, though. Right. I, th I did get one Zygarde in a trade, though. Oh, bonus. did you? Yes. Oh. So we have a few more. We just need a few more. <laughs> right, so... Cool stuff. We got an updated Buzzwool, which the Buzzwool, what did we end up doing to Buzzwool? Um, we took out, wait, which Buzzgarb or Buzz? Bu oh, Buzz, Buzz, uh, Buzz Rock, I guess. Buzz Rock? What do we do to Buzz Rock to we make that deck work? Put three B strings in. <laughs> and that put was three B strings in. Yep. Yeah, we found room for three, <laughs> three B strings. B -string. All right. So I think we also cut down to three strong energy. Uh, a beast for a beast energy. I don't think you need all five of those. You don't need like four strongs and a beast energy. So, uh, vo, 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 vo. what's up? All right. <laughs> We're going to see how this matchup goes. Looks like my opponent could be potentially playing, uh, some fighting deck here. What's up? What's up? Sasha Horgan morning guys. Where are you from? That it is the morning right now. <laughs> Interested. Uh, this is like one of the very few hands I feel like where, you know, maybe Bridget would be decent in this deck. Right. Whoa! You know, it's fine if we were playing a, We're a mulligan. Oh, we are playing against a Buzz Rock. Getting a mulligan here, so that is cool. Let's see, have you seen the new Noibat? Has a pretty nice attack to pair with Garbodor. No, Greg, tell me about the new Noibat. I have no idea what you're talking about. Galileo. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Gal Galileo. Galileo. It looks like, oh, yeah, I see. Oh, got a nice um, Yakamore. Uh, no, we don't have any Beast Box cards yet. <laughs> Eventually, this we're just starting off with the. With the um, Alternate Cosmos are like 17 packs right now. 17 so... packs to trade for, right. <laughs> Hefty. How do we get this uh, full art boy? That was one of the boys that I got for 17 <laughs> packs. He was the same as another one. I was like, I'll, I'll take him. <laughs> That's insane. All right. So, yeah, the Ultra Necros was pretty expensive on PTCGO. I mean, the new set has out. only been out for, like, 24 hours. So right. getting the two decks down was pretty good. All right, let's uh, go take a look at the deck here. And it uh, looks like we got all our boys accounted for there. But uh, we have none of these four Mysterious Treasure or four Ultra Balls We're in our hand it's fine. to help pair this uh, slightly large hand down. That is fine. Uh, I can't attach just the beast energy to the active position. We play four float stones, so don't actually like mind that. I think I do as well. And then let's just Cynthia. 
it's fine. Uh, oh, you, uh, guy, you ended up pulling one. Oh, oh my no. gosh, this is, uh, I've seen better hands. I've seen better starts. I should have, all right, this is my fault. I should have played that field blower. But I guess maybe I could have. I mean, there's an argument for not playing the field blower as well. If your top deck isn't a mysterious treasure, then it wasn't your fault. And <laughs> <laughs> it was fine. I'm feeling a little bit not great about this hand. It's fine. This is totally cool. We are going to be totally, totally great. Um, let's see. Are you guys going to play an updated Buzzgarb list? We did update it. Yes, we are. I know, Riley. Maybe the one of, hmm, I don't know. I like Lily better, though. I like Lily better. We're going to find another spot for it. Keep maybe. testing it. We're going to keep testing it. I don't think, like, I don't know. To me, I'd rather play a draw supporter on the first turn with this deck. But I just happened to open a hand, like, full of draw supporters and nothing else. And I think 1-1 one, one Bridget Lily. I mean, yeah, you I could. Try to find room for it. We're, I mean, we're going to, that's the point of testing, you know. So we're going to see. You would have all the options, Riley. You're right. <laughs> Uh, Nagandel Beast Box. I don't have Beast Box. We gotta Box. get the cards first. Yeah, I don't have cards for Beast Box. I have cards for Malamar and Updated Buzzwool. So we're gonna be rocking those decks on stream today. See, Logan says, Hi guys, I'm new and was wondering if you had any tips for newer players in terms of affording cards and play paying for my first deck. Well, Logan, uh, if, and I don't really know how old you are, I mean, but obviously if you're old enough to have a job, then, you know, employment is a great way to be able to afford cards. If not, then just, uh, you can, I just save up money from when you like, uh, when you happen to get money, uh, however you, whatever option you have to be able to get your hands on some cash, just encounter. save up. Uh, I know, but I can't I encounter <laughs> yet. Uh, and then just, uh, I think I just attach here. Yeah. And we are just going to probably pass. I don't think I'm going to, do I? G I can't GX, right? You can only use this attack only if a uh, total of both players' remaining prize cards is six or less. Nope, can't do that. So, yeah, uh, job is the best way to be able to afford new cards. But if I actually didn't play Pokemon cards when I was in, like, high school and stuff, so I don't know a lot about that. But if anybody in the chat knows about, like, or has suggestions, how, how would you, like, go about affording, like, babysitting and stuff? I babysat like, and then... Mowing yep. lawns. Yep. I, that's how I made money when I was in high school. I, I mowed 15, lawns. I started playing when I was 15, so... Yep. It was, uh, yeah, it right. was, uh, I remember having to, like, when Mewtwo EX first came out from Next Destinies, it was, like, a $50 card. Mm -hmm. I was like, what am I going to do about this? Yeah, you know, I'm 15, I don't have a job. I can't kill the prism. It's got 120 hit points. Yeah. I think you could discard both. The Beast Energy counts, right? No, I no. can't discard the both. It's basics. Oh, uh, it's a basic. Yeah, Riley, yeah. I cannot kill that thing. There's no point in attacking that thing, Riley. I cannot kill the prism. Um, I would, I could discard one. What's up, Bako Nation? Uh, Nimrod, Riley, read the card, Brody, read the card, Riley, it says discard all basic psychic energy, 20 plus 30, oh, you're right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should read the cards. <laughs> all right, oh, Riley. killed that Mew. Dude, Riley is getting in here with his math, and I don't like it. Why did you kill the, uh, guys, I was not, I was not focusing on the fact that I had beast for energy, I was focusing on the fact that I'm, like, not drawing butt. All right, let's uh, go in. Uh, Riley, you were right. All right, all right. You know, backseat driver over here. <laughs> Riley Hulbert. Uh, we're going to have to, uh, so good. yeah, we're just going to have to give it the old pass. Uh, does Dariums weigh their packs? No, they do not, Joe. In fact, weighing packs does not work anymore, really, because uh, you uh, they, they have, like, the code cards that are different colors or whatever, and the different colors for the code cards way different amounts for uh that's gonna be a yikes, yikes for, for me, me dog, dog. Uh, i didn't want to knock out the diancy i wanted to uh save my energy and knock out something better so uh that's what uh that's what we're doing here riley i was just gonna you know, i'm biding my time i want to knock out something big there's probably no point in that though i mean like to be honest i don't even think i yeah if i get one more psychic energy i can knock out this buzzwell right but he's about yeah, to bring like it up. Uh, oh, let's just let's just uh, let's just try a different one. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! The privacy whoa. notice. The privacy notice. <laughs> I gave up the privacy notice. All right, let's see if we let's see let's see. Do we actually get a top deck? We're gonna see the top deck. Oh, John, John Lake. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much, John Lake. I appreciate it. All right, guys, we lost this one, but thank you, John Lake. This one goes out to John Lake. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Hit me up, and I'll hook you up with some online TCG content. Appreciate it, John. You are the man. So we are. Gonna give that one another try. All right, let's give, I believe, way more in this deck. 
than uh, than what was just uh, what was just shown in there. That is uh, that was a little uh, bit of a rough start. One so of we're these gonna days try we'll get again. one of the eight yeah. uh, Pokemon search cards. Today. You guys are an inspiration. Just wanted to drop by and say that. Thank you, Will. You are awesome. Appreciate it. Uh, Jackson Dead, how's that Secret Rare Skateboard Collection coming? It's coming awesome. I think I have like 30 of them right now, something like that. Uh, it's really, I, I love them. They are like on a shelf in my other room. I really, really love those cards, and they look amazing up there. Oh, yeah, I can work with this hand. Check that out. Who needs Bridget? Joe, they never so. <laughs> weighed the packs, and the Crimson Invasion packs can't be weighed either. Yeah, It's no, been a thing for a long it's, time. Uh, yeah, that's not a thing, Joe, so sorry. Um, can I have free stuff? Sorry, Ryan. I can't give out free stuff to everybody, but I do, uh, give away stuff through, uh, Patreon, but then that's not exactly free because those guys donate to help support the channel. So like, you know, but that's how I, I do giveaways through that though. If you're interested, which you can check out in the description, shout out to all my Patreon subs. You guys are incredible. And I'm going to be doing a, my drawing, I think for the winner of the Patreon stuff on Sunday. And I'm going to pick out like, Probably some play mats and stuff from the Etsy store. Some stickers going to give away and all that. All right, let's get rolling here. Playing against another Buzz Rock. All Good right, hand. we got him this time. So I'm thinking, yes, we need this guy. And then I'm thinking that we Ultra Ball away probably the Field Blower and maybe the Malamar. And then we just Lily. Yeah. Uh, really. Or no, let's Ultra Ball away the, the Field Blower and the Lele. I don't need that. All yeah. right, let's Ultra Ball these guys away and get ourselves another NK. And then we're going to go off with that turn one. Lily, let's get it. All right. So we draw on a hot six cards. Let's go. All righty then. That, uh, you know, would have been nice if I could have gotten an energy down. But, uh, you know, it doesn't always work out that way. Okay, going to pass. And hopefully, you know, gosh, we drew a lot of cards without seeing an energy. Uh, we did just take out both of the professor's letters Shout out to Field Blower. That's good. Looks like my opponent is playing Parallels in there. Oh, Zorak, like this is Zorak like a rock. Okay. That makes much more sense. All right. Will Kemp says, Andrew, how many decks you got in real life? Only got one Solgaleo Duskwing deck. Seems to be treating me well. That's awesome. We how have, many... um, let me look. I think, I think we got, we like, got like, like 10 or something. I like... think we have... I don't know. I think There's like our double deck boxes in there. I think we have like eight or ten. Eight to ten. Yeah. yeah. I think They're our not... max is like ten that we can have or something we, like that. We don't have that many leleys, but we do. Right. We, we do have... proxy all our leleys. We, we do have a lot of trainers and stuff. I was deceived by the Rock Rough Riley. Riley, I'm sorry for doubting you that I could have knocked out that thing earlier. I just didn't want to, though, because like I don't think I had a flowstone on it either. I thought like my odds of staying alive were higher if I didn't knock it out. But then I would have drawn an extra card as well. So I don't know. Could have gone either way. Um, what are the changes to the Buzzgarb deck? We're going to show that one off as soon as we get a few games rolling here with the Ultra Necrozma Malamar the list. Single puzzle move. Oh, the single puzzle tin. Good All one. right. Let's uh, get <laughs> this thing. Let's get that thing out of here. Let's get some Malamars in action. And I don't know. I was like totally not treated well by Cynthia last time. I feel like I just want Sycamore. I feel like, I mean, like, you have Malamars. Let's get out of here. Yeah, well, why not? I'm getting out of here. This is fine. I think a lot of your prizes were supporters. That's definitely possible. Oh, boy. Okay, so we've got ourselves another weird hand with no psychic energies. Maybe we got to play these letters. I think the letters we are, are good. Not you don't seeing play a lot anything. of energy. Let's well, get this Mimikyu remember, out of here and play we, a letter. <laughs> when we were, no, the Mimikyu's pretty good. When we were... Uh, but we did not draw an energy. When we were first playing the deck, we didn't have letters. And it was like, I remember we were playing and we were like, we don't have energy ever. Right, yeah. so we need to get the letters back in. But there's no... All right, let's see here. I think I need to Ultra Ball away this and the Guzma. And then let's just get ourselves another Inkay. And then... You're right, Riley. Yeah, it was probably was a lot of my prizes were supporters there. Let's just put the Oranguru down, and I think I just super rod that thing back in um, and then try to draw another card. And I know I'm, like, super playing into Lycanroc now, but he doesn't have an energy or anything like that. I am just... He also single puzzled. Right. Okay. I'm just... Literally, that's what I wanted. I wanted to top deck a Psychic so that I could discard it next turn with that Sycamore. So at least we got that. That's like how was modest mouse? one that's psychic. Terrible. Someone asked, how's it modest was awesome. mouse? Oh, that was great. It was like yeah. amazing. <laughs> uh, I got to see Isaac Brock, and I was like so close to him. Andrew like, was so excited. It was oh very funny. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Isaac heard me a couple times. <laughs> yeah. 
I was uh, really, really excited. Modest Mouse is one of my favorite bands, and I've been a fan of them since I was like 16. So that was an uh, incredible experience. They've been on like my, you know, list of people to see. Oh, did I get enhanced hammered? Oh, goodness gracious. Why don't you get off my case, guy? You know, it's really <laughs> frustrating. And now I have this choice band on this thing. This is, uh, you know, really messing with my jo you know, messing with my jam over here. I think this list needs tweaked. I don't know about these choice bands, weirdly enough. Like, oh, I why'd you put the choice bands in? I remember you saying you weren't going. I don't want the choice bands. People were telling me that we need the choice yeah. bands, so I don't know. I'm, I'm like, I'm on team take out the choice bands. So we're gonna try that too and see how that goes. I don't think you need them. Um, you just throw more. En the thing is, if you play letters, then you get more energy in the discard pile. If that choice band in the opening hand was a letter, then I right. could have lettered, gotten two energy, discarded them, and I would have charged them both to the ultra necrozma this turn. It's for the Zorark matchup, says Riley. Which is, like, way better. I know it is for the Zorark matchup, but who cares about the choice band if you don't have energy in the discard pile? I think, like, priority number one, energy in the discard pile. You know? <coughs> I think we'll be fine. Yeah, your math isn't good, but you just get three energy on them boys and then just boink. And then you do have your beast energy, which is an option as well. All right, Baco, take it easy. Let's see. What is my opponent doing to my bench Par right now? Oh, they're paralleling they're me. Paralleling? I can't see. It bad. Like yes, bad. They got another one of them boys. Ranguru. All right. Ranguru's got to go. Uh, and, uh, yeah. No. Uh, what are they? Inky. All right, get out of here, Inky. All right. That's fine. We're going to use this this thing. All right. Um, oof. Okay. This is appropriate? This is fine. All right. We're right. Here we go. Yep. I could have... Yeah. Uh, let's see. Field blower. That's good. Um, let's field blower my own... But I... No. No point blower, doing that yet. Uh, you can't really get... Um, how many... You got an energy in the discard? How many? I just do. One? Let's field blower that again and that. Yeah, let's get rid of both those just in case I find myself a floatstone to get that fatty out of the active position. Then let's ultra ball away, ultra ball and psychic energy. And yeah, we're going to go get another uh, inky here again. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, here we go. The slow man's Mal uh, Malamar deck. We're going to psychic recharge for the one time, for the two times. Oh, we're going to put two them boys on to probably yep just that dusk main down there or not the dusk main you know ultra necrozma whatever psychic recharge again and uh gonna give it a good old passeroo we desperately need to get our energy situation going better in this deck i think this is like two games in a row or i don't know i did see some metal energies but just you weren't seeing the energies that you wanted to see i think the choice bands don't matter if you don't letters. set up the letters with the combination of how many like search cards we have is really good right i agree so um let's see riley what's your relationship with stall decks he never plays them in tournament but enjoy messing around with them online now my friend uh sean lyden if you guys have seen him <laughs> on the channel he like loves stall decks they're like his thing the man uh, loves waylord loves waylord loves shock lock <laughs> uh i think he just has he has beaches yeah. So, like, in real life, has beaches. So anytime he gets to play beaches, he's, like, really, like, excited. <laughs> once, once we were testing for, for Dallas, and he was playing Waylord, and it ends up, he ends up laying the list out and had five AZ in it. <laughs> Do you remember Oh, my this? gosh, yeah. Uh, he, like... <laughs> where I was like, oh, no, I've been had. <laughs> just sometimes you guys build a list, and you accidentally have one too many of the cards in there, or, like, or you accidentally, like, forgot your Ultra Balls or something silly like that. Yeah, Sean had a... Uh, all right, we double puzzled. He got another parallel. This is fi fine. Sir. I don't. You know what? I didn't need that Malamar anyway. <laughs> didn't need it. It's fine. This is totally appropriate. We are good to go. My opponent is not doing anything, but they are really effectively using that parallel city. How many, how many field blower you got down? I've oh. used all three. I've like destroyed my resources just trying to sick of order to get energy into the discard pile. So I don't actually know if we're going to be able to pull this one out, but uh, we're going to give it the good old collegiate effort. All right. I think that here, we're just in a bad spot. I need to hit a Guzma. They're probably going to, uh, they probably ain't got nothing going on. They ain't got nothing going on. Let's throw that there. Let's mysterious treasure and just discard the Malamar. At this point, I cannot get out another Malamar. There's just no option to. It's not no option. I only have four energy, five, six, seven. I didn't prize that many. 
I think, uh, yeah, we're just going to grab that Malamar. And then I think we're going to Sycamore them both. Yeah, we'll Sycamore all that. I don't really have, like, even a lot of cards left to deck. Like, I don't have nothing going on There's here. There's a metal. Uh, there is a metal, so I can Maybe knock out this run. Mewtwo here. Uh, I think I just knock out the Mewtwo, double Reason. Psychic Recharge onto my Benched guy, yeah. and then just see where it goes. Yeah, I got to start taking prizes, so let's do that. Uh, retreat, and then we're just going to do this, uh, yeah, that away. Psychic Recharge. Do I have two? I have yep. one. Well, that's fine. All right, uh, that you means for next turn, so. it doesn't really matter. One is all I need. I just need the one attachment there. Um, well, yeah, no, we're going to see how this goes. Hopefully this thing doesn't get knocked out next turn. So Photon Geyser, let's knock out that Mewtwo finally, which has been in the active position the whole time. I can Guzma next turn. Natalie's correct. So that, oh, there's another Psychic. Oh, boy, what do you know? <laughs> uh, so. I could Guzma next turn, promote the Pokemon with the Floatstone. Perhaps should not have played that. Oh, no, that I needed to play that Floatstone. Right. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully that Floatstone doesn't go anywhere so that I can just continue to attack next turn. Uh, let's see. Are any of you guys going to Madison? Yes, yes, we are signed up for Madison. So we are going to be there, which is exciting. Uh, Kevin says you've been watching the channel for a long time now, and this is your first regional. Nice, Kevin. That's awesome. Um... And guys, uh, yeah, like Kevin, we usually don't decide what decks we're going to bring to a tournament until like the week of, probably. Yeah. Uh, we try not to put all our eggs in one basket too early on because then if you decide what you're going to play for a tournament like super early, that deck could be countered or irrelevant by the time you show up to the tournament. So we try to like stay flexible and stay testing all the way up until like the last week. Um, see, and this is a, a brilliant move on my opponent's part. They know that if they knock out this Malamar, I am out of Malamars. Uh, so it looks like I've kind of been had here. And my opponent was able to stick me with like tons of Parallel City. This is brutal. I don't think that there's anything I could do to win this game, especially if they get another knockout here. Uh, what are they, Claw Slashed? I think, uh, I mean, I could... Claw slash my opponent here, which is actually kind of cool with the Mimikyu. I actually like don't totally mind that. Can, yeah. um, it doesn't really get me ahead on anything though. I don't actually. I mean, love it's probably that. better than the Dawn Wings Necrozma. I could get. I haven't GXed yet. That doesn't really help you can't even though. Use it this turn. No, I can't use it this turn. I would have I've... to like wait. I think. You can Guzma, Riley says, yeah, you can Guzma kill a Lele. I can Guzma knock out a Lele, right? I mean, I can I mean, do he's that. He's not going to be able to Dangerous Rogu, I don't think. Right, so, so I think well we probably that. just do that. Yeah, let's uh, Mysterious Treasure here and just discard probably um, Psychic Energy. That's okay. Let's see what we got here. Another one of those. None of that really, really matters. Make cards open deck. I know, I got one N. <laughs> <laughs> We're fine. I think I want all the other cards except for the end. I just want the end, so like I don't really care. Um, and then we got to Psychic Recharge for the one time. Mimikyu will never be useful. I don't know. Why can't he? Can he Dangerous Rogue? Will he, he Dangerous? Can't, he can't Dangerous Rogue. It's not. G he can't copy GXs. Oh, it can't copy GXs. Cannot. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. All right, we out here. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go in with the uh, the photon geyser. Knock this thing out. Might just be able to bamboozle your way into this one. Fantastic. No. Uh, I don't think so. No, mm. it's looking uh, yeah. McBad. Yeah, I'm out of everything, Riley. I don't know how we got here. I don't know. I don't even think I have any medals left in deck. No, somehow you should. I should. Just look, look. How do I look? Look at your discard. Oh, I mean, they're not here. They could be prized. Your know. last th you have three prize. That seems unlikely. Uh, I might. I think it's two prized. There's two prized, yeah. yeah. I might I have two I prized. I thought I saw when you looked at your deck. There might be one in there. So this thing probably, I don't know. It's not getting GX, so I guess it could live another turn. But if he knocks out this Malamar, like, Retweet, Riley. let's just get out of here. Thank you, Riley. I do have. No, I said maybe it's, maybe it's when you stick <laughs> more three, three times. times you could have said the end. Uh, Riley, listen, we were. This was going downhill fast. We needed some things, but uh, yeah. So potentially should have Cynthia there, but I don't know, Riley. I was just, uh, you know, I was trying to live a little. I was trying to get this deck set up, and uh, you know, it's fine. We're uh, we're still getting things figured out. I think this list still needs some work, but it's uh, it was working much better with the with the letters for sure. All right. We got popped for 110. It's not like the best feeling in the world, but uh, it's totally okay. 
let's see, we can hit the, let's see, if we hit the Lycan Rock for like, we can hit the Lycan Rock while just attaching the Psychic while also powering one up to the Ultra Necrozma here. Yeah. I think th I like that. Let's go there and then like Psychic Recharge one onto here. And I actually think the Mimikyu can be useful if uh, I use it to two-shot this Lycan Rock in the active here. So you I don't... Have, you have to... He has to not use Dangerous Rogue, so the turn that you're going to do that. So let's see. Yeah. So I think that's fine. So long as I like... I don't think he'll use Dangerous Rogue next turn. Let's just end him, though. Um, I don't know. He just like Mallowed stacked his deck, right? Yeah. So like... But he drew into those cards, but did he, did he play any of them? I don't think so. I feel like I probably save in until he takes these prizes here. Like, what's the I worst? Like, what's the worst that could happen? Okay, that's fine. Let's just, uh, yeah, let's just pass. Oh, not pass. Photon geyser. All right, here we go. Get it. Hundred damage. That's fine. And then this thing's gonna go down. Then I need to find another metal energy. I actually can. Acerola. Oh, ouch. Okay, that's bad. See, probably should have been. But I mean, he would have had access. He's only got eight cards left in deck. He would have had access to all that. So this next turn, I actually can knock out the Zorark, and I can put my opponent in a situation where they actually will not be able to return knock out my... And then by benching both of these things, if I could actually keep my opponent away from evolving one of these, I can, like, win on a Guzma if I have one left in deck, which I don't. Oh, fantastic. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All righty. Oh, the letters. They're back. Let's, uh, let's go. Yes, we need to get the letters back. Okay. Let's uh, just, uh, yeah, guy. I think I benched some guys. Two guys, one guy. No, let's bench one guy. Um, oh, he's totally going to like him rock up my Malamar. This is bad news. Okay, let's bench him, and uh, let's throw another floatstone down, and let's uh, get rid of this thing and thin the deck a little bit. All right. We have, yep, that's the, that's the dealio. All right, and we're going to end, and we're just going to hope we hit that metal. And we did. That's good. Okay. And uh, yeah, this is a little bit sketchy, but uh, it's not the worst situation I've ever been in. Okay. We have one prize left, and we have no. Oh, parallels uh, looking pretty good against this because it was the parallels were the reasons why I had to burn all of my stuff. Uh, you know. Oh, I could sky scorching light, uh, which would get me one prize. And not discard anything. You can. I think that's it. It would put six damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon. It would yeah. get you two card, two prizes. Or no, the Rockruff has the Rockruff. But it would knock out yeah. the the yeah, thing. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, yeah and yeah. then Photon guys are for game. Yeah. Oh, busted! Right. I think we have a way out, guys. I think huh. we uh, yeah. I think we may have a way out. All right. So let's do this, and then uh, I now, think. Rockruff has seventy HP. Uh, I think we can win now. Yeah, busted Rockruff. <laughs> if we just uh, if my opponent doesn't knock out the Ultra Necrozma. So, uh, I think, right. So, I mean, like, I don't know. Like, what is his way to knock out the Ultra Necrozma? I don't think he's really got he one. Can't. He'd have to I promote a non-EX, non-GX this turn. Even if he knocks out this Malamar, I think that was my my win out there was with that GX attack, which I thought I would never use. Right. I was, like, positive I would never, ever use that GX attack. So, this would be a crazy comeback if we are able to stick my opponent here. I don't think that they'll, you know, retreat into this rock rough. If they do retreat into the rock rough, like that's okay. I think I need to find out a way to poke it though, <laughs> which is like not the easiest thing for me to do. Um, what's up, Turbo Flareon? All right, take it easy. So I don't know, but like, does my opponent really get anything out of promoting just the rock rough though? They give themselves one more turn. They're not actually attacking me if they promote the rock rough. Right. So. He's going to Guzma, but what is he going to... He might just be putting the Rock Roth active, like he said. Right. Might just be Guzma. Oh, and Diancie? Like, what is going on here? I feel like I've got tons of energy in play. I don't know what my opponent's... That feeling when Andrew only found this out because it popped in front of his face on the screen. <laughs> 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 Listen, Riley, I'm still learning these cards. Uh, I have not played that many games with these. So, uh, yes, no, that was... a. Uh... The GX attack was not in the forefront of my of my uh, thought process. No, not going to lie. So yeah, that was a big brain play, though. 
big brain, which I mean, obviously is like a very clear play. I think if you've played it like more than two games with this deck, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it was big brain play for me. Big brain GX. I thought honestly thought that that was just like the worst GX attack. I thought I would never, ever, ever it's use got that. Some very, All right. Here goes know, the Malamar. Select uses. Does my opponent have a field blower or something to make this highly annoying? Um, <laughs> he might be trying to knock it out. I don't know. Right. If he has like a floatstone or something or an energy. No. Just going to stick the Diancie active. Oh, yep. he is, huh? That makes sense. And then say like, all right, guy, a ball's in your court. I think, okay, I don't have any more. You pass. I can't just like deck my opponent here. I no, cannot no, no. deck my opponent. You, uh, I need to make a play, make that's for sure. You make him make the move. Um, Once you get, he can't knock anything out right now without a two shot, I don't think. Okay. Yeah. I mean, he can't, right? So I don't think so. I don't know. Like, what's what if he goes in with the rock rough and like, you know, goose puts up my ultra into Crosba and tries to hit it with surprise attack. Mm. I think like potentially I should have. No, I have no more access to energy. So I haven't used. Tw I'm not using Twitch yet, Devin. I just uh, that's like in the like in, in the 100, future. 100, 120, 150. I don't think he can knock he me need out. Need like Kokoi. So, like, I think he's just trying to deck me here. Uh, I can't copycat. I'd have to retreat. Let's at least retreat into the Mimikyu. We should have done this last Why? turn. Uh, so I can Psychic Recharge to myself, to the Malamar. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. I should have done this last turn. But um, this is fine. And then here we go. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, yep, we're going to pass. And we got a couple more turns here, but next turn I can at least do the uh, Psychic What's Sphere. Uh, not Psychic. Grass. No, mm. but that's fine. All right, here we go. So now my opponent is in a situation where they cannot ignore my Psychic Sphere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have got there. We figured it out. We have a guy that can poke now. So uh, go get him, Malamar. <laughs> <laughs> go All right. get him, Tiger. Psychic Sphere. <laughs> here we are. Yes, ignore that. <laughs> ignore that. Uh, he Mr. has no clue uh, that you have another N. No, I have one more N. Maybe they think they're going to deck me. But it seems like what he's trying to do. Right, I think so Either at that this point. Or like get an obscene amount of uh, strong and energy I modifiers know. on Rock Ruff and this is the Rock real you. This is the real big brain play. But I definitely I should have done that last turn. Then I'd be a turn ahead in the whole exchange. But ultimately, I don't think it really matters. I'm going to be able to throw like four more turns back into my deck. And I think my opponent just doesn't have a way to knock out this uh beefy ultra across my gx <laughs> so that is insane he needs another strong um, he he's at a 100 120 140 160 choice fan would do it if he has a strong choice fan yes oh my goodness no so you're saying it's possible yes oh no oh that would be so bad <laughs> that would be horrible i'd be heartbroken strong band kukui would it need all of that would it need the kukui when 100, 120, 140, 160, and then a uh, choice band, right? 160. Oh, the Diancie so. gets KO'd. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was thinking right now that it's what he's, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Uh? Field blower. Oh, sketch. <laughs> it's fine. I have one more float stone left. I don't want to play it, but I have it. All right. This makes me think that he ain't got it like that. I don't think he got it like that, but if he does have a Kokoi, Raleigh's right. Multi switch. Where's that going? <laughs> oh, he's giving, oh. What is happening here? Oh. Oh, so he can retreat the Diancie. We've both got two cards left in deck. I have to imagine that my opponent doesn't have it. Like, that they just don't have. Let me see his discard. I had a, I don't know. What is, what's the strong situation? Two choice situation? bands down. He's flipping. He's flipping two choice bands. He's going to, uh, he's going to use the attack, the strong, what's it called? Oh. This attack, surprise attack or whatever. Yeah. What? Surprise attack. What's he trying to surprise He's attack gonna for? He's going to knock out your Malamar with it. That rock rock could KO what? That rock rock oh, could KO what? he didn't what? do it. He didn't do it. He didn't do oh, it. Oh, okay. End. Okay. So I just, I have to end. Um, and we have to put the, probably put the flow stone on the Malamar, right? We can, you can manually retreat it. Um, I can't manually retreat it. I probably just end. I'm probably going to get that flow stone back. Right. Um, so let's just end. Yep. All right. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, so I'm aware. <laughs> I am aware. All he needs is like a rocket band. Well, uh, we are going to try and make that uh, not happen, as they say. All right, here we go. 
Uh, we're gonna psychic. Uh, let's psychic recharge for the one time. I don't know. I mean, no, maybe uh, we... I don't know. Yeah, just to the uh, yeah. to the mimic you. Yeah. So like at least we have it as an option. Uh, if something crazy happens, and then uh, psychic sphere. Okay, so things knocked out. And... It's getting wacky over here already. It is getting uh, weird. As yes, it is definitely getting weird. Okay, so they are promoting the Lele. Where do they think they're going with that guy? What is the game plan? Oh, no! No! Oh, he's going to have it. Wait, oh. does he? 100, 120, 140, Oh, because he doesn't have he needs the a choice band. He needs a choice band or, yeah, choice band. He need, and he oh, he's got no cards in deck. Does he have it? I don't know if he has. Here's the Lycorac. Rock. Does he have the looking, knockout, he, though? He needed a puzzle. 100, two fours. That's 160. Does he have choice band? He didn't look like he don't had choice me. bands. Don't roll me. Don't do it. He ain't got it like that. Oh, oh does he have it? Oh, wait, Did he forget slash? about the Diane? Does Claw Slash do it? Oh, does Claw Slash? No, it doesn't do it. It's short. He miscounted. Oh, okay. He didn't have it. All right. Did, would Claw Slash have done it? No, 110 plus 60, nuts 170. Yeah. So he thought he had, maybe he thought he had it, but. Photon Geyser, all right. Hey, we hey. got there. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. That was a crazy game. All right, we'll take that one. That uh, was rough, guys. Apparently, Parallel City is like super duper good against Malamar, even though I'm playing like three field blower. That was still pretty Ooh. rough to deal with there. So let's uh, let's go take a gander at this list real quick. I think I want to I want to flop a couple of cards around, but uh, yeah, we did get there. That was cool. Let's, uh, I don't know, what do you guys think about this Mimikyu? You think it's, like, totally needed? If it's good for the mirror, but, I mean, if you want to put the letters back in, I could see it. I think I I think I could cut one choice band. And just have one beast energy, one choice band. That's how we're dealing with Zoroarks. Uh, otherwise, you could just get them in play. Like, I don't I don't really mind that. And then also, I think, I mean, I don't know. What if we cut, let's get that Mimikyu out of here. Nobody's got Alterna Crosma yet. And then we're going to throw, <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to throw the letters back in. And we're going to see how that plays. All right. One, two, and save it. Trying that. Let's see. Needs the Diancy. Try a new deck. Malamar has been saved. Sweet. All right. Let's roll another one. Clefairy from Evo is amazing for the mirror. You're right. That is a good card for the mirror. Uh, it's just really, really uh, tight on space for sure. It's like definitely just the whole, the whole deck is super tight. So um let's see do you have any codes i don't have any codes i used all my codes trying to get this deck together yeah what's up is that, hello is that, is that the deck oh that's uh looks like is our that friend the deck? <laughs> andrew mondak riley can you confirm awesome. if that's the deck <laughs> oh this is a busted it starting like hand. Him. see this is why lily it is my deck. this is why lily is that card in this deck look how busted this starting hand is this is amazing we've got the two oh this is going to be pure flames guys all right uh, so fuego. now we've really got We've really got some good stuff going now. All right. Uh, at the Epic Dustmore, we did we did do the Buzzgar Bluff, so we don't know if it's good. Uh, seems seems doesn't like it. We're, <laughs> we're going to play some games with it. We're going to play wanna... some games. It doesn't have an answer to Dawn Wings, which is a big problem. Play that, the new Buzzgar Bluff. I'm going to get it. I just uh -huh. want to get, like, one more game in with Malamar. And uh, even though we did win that The last Daxter game, that was, playing uh... Buzz Rock. That one was a little rough. Uh, that uh, that last matchup was a little rough around the edges. <laughs> we still got there, though. Uh, we did finesse, though. Heard you grew up in Baltimore, and I lived there. Awesome, Jordan. Yeah, I did grow up in Baltimore. Love Baltimore, man. Uh, my family lives there now, and they live in Fells Point. So that is uh, – I love Fells Point. Love visiting Baltimore. there, the Inner Harbor. Yeah, she's <laughs> I got wearing... the crab on my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> wearing a Maryland sweatshirt. <laughs> Testing for Toronto. Oh, yeah. Let's see. So He's testing for Toronto. Joke's on oh, him. Oh, we did get Psychic Energy. Awesome. So I think that we just go and... Get an inky. Yeah, we're going to slap this down. We're going to discard the Psychic. And we are going to get another ink Inkster here. And we are going to Lily for a draw of six. Come on. Let's get there. All right. We got one Malamar and one Psychic. And so, yeah, none of that... Like, super helps? It does not play Carbon, and Carbon is not stupid, so uh, watch your language. Hey, yeah, hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see here. I think we just, uh, we hypnosis. No, that thing can evolve. That's bad. <laughs> bad, Andrew. <laughs> right. uh, I think that we're just going to give it the good old pass. I can't really see any reason to discard or to attach that psychic energy. So I think we're just going to pass here. And I'm going to keep my Oranguru in my hand 
just because there's no real reason to throw it down there. It might be a good target if my opponent wanted to like Lycan Rock and Claw Slash something. They probably, right. oh, that's a fine hand to end away. Yep, that's fine. No problems here. Thank you, Andrew and Natalie, for signed Misty Matt. Of course, Zach, thank you for ordering it. You rock. Thank you. This hand is awesome. You guys could see why I love playing the four Ultra Ball and the four Mysterious Treasure in here. There's not a lot of additional draw in this deck, and just being able to naturally see those cards when you end and things like that throughout the course of the game is really keep the deck turning along and keep it consistent. You want to get your Malamars out as quickly as possible, so that is definitely, definitely good. I love having all the search here. And this hand that we've got, this is looking great. Uh, I don't actually think I mind one choice ban because... One choice ban, I mean, combined with beast energy, you have two options to boost that extra uh -oh. little damage. Jet punch for knockout. Oh, it's going to jet punch my ink. No, stop that. Bad. This is not good. All right, so not exactly what we wanted there. Not my one with the float stone. That was, uh, that was a little aggressive. Okay. Maybe I should have <laughs> retreated the one with the float stone. Potentially. Yeah, probably. Let's... Uh, Let's go up with the, uh, yeah, with the damaged one is the correct play. Let's not be bad. Okay, and then it uh, looks like we're going to Yak Town. So let's, uh, yep, get rid of this thing. And I think we just go get a Malamar, I guess, yep. And we throw that onto the, well, Abench. That thing in the active is getting knocked out if I even if I evolve it. So I right. think we do the bench first. And then let's do here. That way you, and, you can avoid a double knockout that way if you were like Guzma. Right. Um, so. And then here. And then let's just Sycamore. See what we could do off of that. Uh, we did not get another float stone. Uh, I could, I can't do a thing where I actually, you can, don can wings. I go for a Rangaroo? I can Dawn Wings. <laughs> not, not worth Dawn Wings the Mew, but you know. I actually think it is. You think? Yeah. I mean, you can use a regular attack on it, yeah. That's what I'm just going to yeah. do that, though. That yeah, you, for sure uh, is the play. Her... Yeah, let's do that. So, like yep, uh, let's get these, right? Yeah, I already have that in my hand. So let's go get, and I love the letter is just like juicing the size of my hand right now. That's oh, awesome. You can't Dawn Wings. I can't Dawn Wings because no. I don't have the second Malamar. That's right. That's right. Okay. So let's uh let's just get somebody going then. Let's get, just I get another Inky. I think he's gonna knock that one out. Yeah, let's attach that there, and then let's Ultra Ball away. Doesn't Kevin Baxter just play spicy meme decks? <laughs> Sometimes the man does play spicy meme decks. I feel like we get another. I I don't think I get another Inky though, because then they could take a double knockout. Yeah. That feels bad with Mew. They're gonna could be jet locked punch. into only one Malamar then. Um, for guaranteed. Not guaranteed. I'll just th throw down another Inky eventually. Eventually, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I think we're going to do this. Oh, yeah. And then I'm just going to charge a couple of energies around. And let's, uh, yeah, let's just uh, Psychic Recharge a little bit. And let's throw, like, one of them here and probably another one of them there. All right. And I think, like, oh, this Mew is, like, proven to be a little bit annoying. Um, I could have retreated and just knocked it out. Um, I think, right? No, because I already attached the metal. I would have, yeah, yeah, I could, mm. that was not an option. All right, I think we're just going to psychic recharge again and Let's just leave you. it at that and just be like, balls in your court, my guy. Uh, but I suspect, fully suspect that my opponent is just going to uh, just jet punch with Mew again. Totally, they're totally cool doing that. So that is, you know, great play for my opponent going in with a jet punch with the Mew. I actually Good haven't back. seen that. Done yet, Andrew Mondak with some clutch plays there. I haven't seen that done with the Buzzwold deck yet, uh, as far as a way as you know, is uh, as far as being just a way to deal with Malamar effectively. So that's pretty good. I would like to find my Super Rod. I mean, these things are getting melted pretty quickly here, so I need to find a Super Rod to throw some of them back in. Um, yep, and sure enough, there is the Jet Punch. No worries there. Now my opponent's got a situation where they could just like like and rock up this Malamar and then Jet Punch again. So I think uh, I just got to say like enough of that business. Like I probably should have charged to my other one here. Um, let's see. I think I benched the Dawn Wings. That's cool. He's not going to be able to really knock it out this turn. 
especially if I don't bench anything. Like then yeah. it's like definitely not gonna be able to. But I need to bench at least one thing. I think I benched this. Yeah, I benched the Dawn Wings. The Dawn Wings super good. Charge yeah, charge and then we're just gonna start charging to it, and then hopefully we get like a Guzman next turn. I think that's like you the can, best uh, case scenario. You can if you get scenario. a Beast Energy or a Choice Band, or you the Choice Band down already. Let's so see. If you yeah. get the Beast Energy, you can knock out the uh, like around. We do have a Guzma, down. so this is like really good for next turn. I think I just don't bench anything, and uh, I could knock out this Mew. I think actually I might just pass. Like, what's the worst that could really happen here? You know. Right. I think, like, then I have, like, two knock. I have two Guzmas in my hand, and I have, like, two ways to knock things out. I think I just... Because then if the Malamar gets knocked out, I'm in an actively bad situation where I think, like... Oh, my opponent, he could go, like, something nuts, like, like and rock, all that. But I think I just, uh... I think I just pass. Um, so I think... I think we do that. Yeah. I could, uh... I could put Floatstone onto the Mal... Uh, onto the Dust... The Dawn Wings... But that doesn't really... I would just hold it. I think right I just now. hold it. Yeah. So let's just do that. You pa Did you pass? Yeah. I'm not oh. going to knock this thing you out. You don't want to knock that out? I'm not going to knock it out. Yep. Yeah. Because then, like, that way it's like, okay, if you don't take a knockout this turn on either of my guys, then I have, like, two manually charged knockouts, like, back to back. I could do, like, Guzma and I could GX that thing. Uh, and then I could just actively just knock out that thing. So I think that yeah I couldn't and I didn't have the option to GX yet um, so I had to I had to wait on that I obviously like sky scorching GX uh, that would have been pretty good be way too good if you could yeah do that this is like not great for me here because yeah they're taking out all of the Malamar situations but I do have Lunala so and Dawn Wings is pretty good I can just go Lunala here and that's not like the worst thing ever. Um, but I think I have to wait a turn to go Lunala. I need to, like, wait. Yeah, we're going to do that uh, a little bit later because we need to just try and dodge this Lycanroc, this incoming Lycanroc here. However, this Mew is, like, putting in way too much work, and uh, I'm not exactly stoked on that. So that is a mess. I think what we could do, though, is we're just going to manually attach to this thing, and we're going to GX that thing. Yeah. And then we take two prizes. Hopefully we rip a supporter or something like that. Then, and we're also going to bench nothing. So that Lycan Rock there is, like, not really doing anything. Right. And then you can, you can if you attach and then uh, you can use the Lycan Rock, you can use Alternate Cosmo on the Lycan Rock the next the following right. turn. So, yeah, exactly. I think, you, I think you just, no, 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 no put the, oh, you're right. Guzma kill that thing. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter because I could just always you invasion. Put the so, stone, but, yeah, but no. all right. So we're good. Let's just Guzma up the Buzzwool here. And uh, let's uh, let's party, guys. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, I think that I could probably keep the floatstone on this Dawn Wings. It's not gonna go anywhere. Uh, you know, my opponent probably doesn't play Field Blower, so I'm like fine with it. I don't think if Mondak's probably testing for Toronto, he won't have a Diancy in there either. So. Right. So yeah, we're just gonna do that, and uh, let's uh, Moon's Eclipse. Moon's GX. Eclipse. Oh yeah. So let's uh, even this game out real quick here with a nice GX attack. Then if, oh, oh. no, that's uh, like the opposite of what I wanted <laughs> to draw there. That is bad. So that's not good. But if my opponent does, you know, they can't damage this next turn. I think it's not. It's all attacks, right? Uh, all effects attacks done to your Pokemon. Yep. So he can't damage me at all. If he doesn't evolve into Lycanroc this turn, I could just Guzma knock out the Lycanroc too. Mm -hmm. So that is is cool. Uh, oh, he is going to Guzma though. He's going to hit into this thing probably with the Lycanroc. Yep. And then that's fine though because then I could just Photon Geyser. Oh, he's going to bring it back. Oh, okay. He does actually knock Ooh. this out. That's a nice spicy little play. I didn't really think about that. The Guzma. Claw Slash. The Guzma Lysander. Yeah. And then Claw Slash. That's that that's like, the only way you can hit it. That that's why Buzzguard can't do anything about it, which is the right. problem. So I think like, okay. I think I actually need to go in with a Sycamore here. Yep. <laughs> There's like, a, yeah. they, like we are going to have to uh, bench both the Lunala and the Ultra Necrozma. And we are going to knock this thing out. Actually, so I mean, but he's gonna go down to one prize, which is like if you not don't good. bench anything that could be knocked out easily, like the like Lunala, Lunala is fine, but 
Oh, he doesn't knock it out. They resist it. I don't know oh, if he knew that. They did not knock it out. I thought oh. I thought he had done his math correctly. Angry. I'm sorry, he did not do his math correctly. He did not. Oh, he did not do his math correct. Oh, I, I forgot that it's let's resistant. uh let's bring up this boy. <laughs> and then invasion. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and knock that thing out too. All right, that's uh, that's good. And uh, <laughs> this is uh, oh, didn't account for resistance. Um, that does still set still up a jet difference. punch, yeah. but I mean, I'll oh. take it. That's like super I good for out. me. Just dark flash him. I think I just dark flash. Do I old... bench? I think I bench a loop yeah, now. Right. I like that. Yep. Give and then old... let's uh, dark flash. <laughs> All right. And uh, yeah, we are uh, sorry, still in here. Yeah, sorry, Mondak. I thought you did your math right. Mondak's just trying to test for uh, Toronto, and we're really right. we're really messing with his vibe here. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, but yeah, so that was uh, that was fun. Got in there with that dank resistance, Don Wings. Okay, I like it. I read Don Wings for the first time when I was playing against it in, in uh -huh. St. Louis on day two. We're like, My opponent bench oh. attached Max Lixer to it. And I picked it up and I was like, oh, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> not good. Oh, no. Resistance to Dark, 180 hit points. Did you guys build or play more Zork or Ninja GX? I really like the auto deck. I want to see more gameplay with it. Don't I have it yet. Yeah, we don't have the deck yet. I mean, we have it on tabletop, but I've been busy with finals this week, so we haven't had the time to do too much more testing. We were kind of still just winging it trying to figure things out so do i have my final guzma in deck if i do then mm, yeah, no, we could go oh no stop stop don't do that <laughs> but that is still awesome though because like my one lele is searchable with like all ultra balls uh mysterious treasures i have lots of outs to the game winning lele here if i can draw into it that would be awesome uh, and we got there. Yep, busted. So that's fantastic. So we could just Mysterious Treasure. So long as my final Guzma is not prized, we got game here. And you guys see, we uh, won this game with pretty much no Malamar. So right. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yep, we're going to put that boy up. And let's see what we can get here. And we got the Psychic Energy, so that is awesome. Let's uh, just Mysterious Treasure, discard the Mew, check, uh, mm -hmm. check for the Guzma... Is he? Oh, He's yeah. in there. Oh, yeah. We got there. Sorry, Mondek. About to get sacked. All right. Let's go, Lele. Hey, Lele. Let's go The uh, get that Guzma there. And uh, let's, uh, I don't know, let's throw another energy on to see how much damage we could do with this ultra. Three hundo. Does he get to three hundo? All right. Let's Guzma up. A Lycan Rock. And get him out of here. Photon Geyser. Oh, yeah. Get in there with your 290 damage, Ultra Necrozma, looking sweet. Great game to Andrew Mondak, awesome guy, local player from Ohio, so cool stuff there. Uh, let's see, thinking of adding Parallel, what would you cut from the deck? What deck do you want to add Parallel to? I assume he's talking about Malamar. Uh, Malamar? I think like Parallel could be okay in here. It does stop your opponent from using Parallel temporarily, but I feel like a lot of the decks that play Parallel City do you play a lot of field blowers themselves? So, I mean, at least the Zorark ones do. So it's not always going to work out, but the Buzzwole like and the Buzzwole Garb deck doesn't doesn't play a lot of right. or any field blowers. So. It doesn't play any unless they change it. None. Should it? All right. So here we are with a uh, Buzz, Buzz Garb. We're gonna give this uh, bad boy a shot here. We've got three copies of Buzzwole. The one. That could be a fourth Buzzwell, too. A little Buzzwell. Yeah. I like the little one. We yeah. need some non-EX, non-GX action up in here. So let's uh, let's give this one a spin. One Nest Ball. Okay, what do we cut a second Nest Ball for? The, um... Just the Beast Energy no, the or the... Super Rod. The Super Rod. Oh, we got a 10th Energy in here, I see. No, it's, um... Yeah, because yeah, yeah. it, yeah, it was playing energy. 9. Okay, so the Super Rod, uh, then... Okay, yeah. all right. Let's, uh, let's give it a shot. See how it goes. Save it. And I figured we didn't need the nest ball as much. I also cut a Lele for fourth Cynthia because you don't have as many basics. So okay. So don't want to start the Lele as No, much. you don't want to start the Lele. I agree with that. Yeah. All right, let's give Buzz Garb a spin, see how that goes. And then, of course, we are going to play Buzz Rock as well. This is completely an untested list. So uh, This is only what we've been talking about. This is, uh, this is, this is going to be a trial run. We'll see how that goes. Andrew, how's your new boy Buzzwall? Have you settled on a new list yet? Baby Buzzwall's busted. I... David, I don't have, uh, I haven't settled on a new list yet. I, we're still in the process of, you know, testing things out. Not exactly sure 
how much uh, you know non EX non GX Pokemon they're gonna play. Like, are you gonna play things like Pseudo Wudo? You gonna play things like how many Mew? All that. Still trying to figure out the little Buzzwool. You know, do we play that thing? How many? We're just, this is all still like a work in progress here. I think the Buzz Garb version does like the little Buzzwool because that way uh, you just have another non EX attacker. I mean, just because this deck doesn't have any non EX non GX attackers as it is right now. So that's uh, where we at. And no, we don't have any decks with Nagandel right now. Unfortunately, uh, that is on our list of things to do. So haven't Next got time. one yet. Yeah, maybe next time we stream, we'll have a deck with Nagandel. But we got our Stomp Off Trubbish, our Drooling Trubbish out here. Look how cute he is. He's like made out of clay or something. He's got a little piece of construction paper. I feel like that'd be so fun. Like imagine your job is to make like a Pokemon card and you just got like some clay and some cardboard. You know what I mean? And mm -mm. you're just like, oh boy. It looks Swipe like we're up. playing against uh, the enemy. What's uh, up, Dankus? <laughs> this, uh, what's up, Dankus? This is not going to be good for us. I believe it's... everything in this deck one shots us for one energy. Uh, Buzz Garb, <laughs> why? Man. Can you hand me my, uh, the Red Bull? Yes, Red that'd be Bull. great. Yes, yes, yes. Sponsor me, Red Bull, please. I'd rather have Monster Sponsor because I like monsters. I'll take either. <laughs> I would like to be but... sponsored so I can have lots of raspberry monster rehab teas. Yes, Natalie was not hip to monsters uh, until recently. I like the tea and the coffee pants. She'll have the tea and the coffee. Not like the true monster, not the original, but no, she will drink not those. Good for you. Well, of course not. <laughs> All right. Looks like we are playing against a Mahomi monster merch. I would oh, love that'd be that. busted. That's what I'm saying. Oh my gosh. Riley, you watch your mouth. We were talking about this deck just earlier. <laughs> Buzz Garvin twenty eighteen. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, let's uh, Ultra Space, and boy, is that busted. All right, Ooh, yeah, yeah, Ultra yeah. Space. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go get a gentleman. I feel like we have to get a gentleman, even though. Yeah, you definitely get a gentleman. What happened to Zygarde, Natalie? There used to be a Zygarde in here. Uh, we cut him. No, we not we. It can't be Beast Ring. We talked about it in the chat. I don't know. Um, I was working yeah, when this conversation you was were happening. constantly in the chat. Uh, I was working. Uh-huh. Um, um, yeah, so let's Ultra Bowl. Ultra Bowl. And I feel like we just got to go uh, in. And uh, I think so long as we could just stream Buzzwolves, who cares? I think that's the philosophy, right? I mean, if you can. All his guys are Ultra Beasts. All my guys back. are Ultra Beasts. Keep up with it. Let's just, uh, let's just see how this goes, right? Yeah, Zygarde wouldn't do anything to Naginato. You're right. So you. Oh, Parallel. Good. Uh, parallel. Very good. Uh, lack of supporters. Bad. <laughs> and we discarded my one Lele. Ooh, what does the one Guzma do when you're not doing anything? Uh, boy. All right. Uh, yeah. So parallel. And we're just going to throw that guy down. And uh, Sorry, hopefully go top deck. we'll be okay. Hopefully we'll top deck a couple of things, like a Max Elixir. And that's all. Just a, a Max Elixir would be great. I don't think I Ultra Ball actively for anything here. This is probably okay. I feel like keeping the Ultra Ball in my hand. Well, I also feel like keeping everything else in my hand in my hand right now otherwise can we even knock out this people no we People's? can't we can't knock out any of these people this is ridiculous <laughs> oh why it gets me messed up every time wait you guys call and i call him the people all right like i don't know how is that not the people <laughs> look at his name that's a people <laughs> look he's got two people on his bench <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> He's got two people. Oh, the Ultra Space comes back out. That's that's fine. This I deck just, probably plays. I can't plays. handle it every time you say that. The Stinger GX. Oh, you think he's going to Stinger GX me? This is... Uh, What's that do? I don't even know what that does. Can I, I see? Just, like, I came here like looking to have a good time, and I'm feeling really attacked right now. <laughs> oh, you're the oh, okay. <laughs> Jet Needle. It's not affected by Jetness, so it just can only be straight, you really... Yeah, Trevor says, those people no, are a lively really, bunch. I'm not okay. I can't handle the they, people thing. He's been saying that. They are a lively bunch. <laughs> Shout out to them people. All right. This is uh, <laughs> this is bad. I need a draw supporter right now. I need one. Top deck. Top deck. Uh, yeah. We have to promote this one in case we top deck a max elixir. Oh, yeah. All right. So you're saying we're in. Let's. Uh, you can knock out that Dawn Wings lady. Let's, let's Wait, go grab lady. this thing. Oh, you can absorption it. Yeah, you can absorption the Dawn Wings. Uh, I'm not absorption the Dawn Wings. I think I'm going to get this guy. The Dawnwing is pretty scary, but I guess he's, he's got no not energy on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's uh, let's just uh, well, we're also assuming we hit this max elixir, which uh, 
I, I plan You're on hitting rip it. it. I plan on hitting There's it. There's a tenth energy in there for a reason. Ugh, I guess I'm thinning a couple of things. Potentially shouldn't have done that, but that's shouldn't fine. Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. He's just, just a boy. boy. All right, let's, uh, oh, yeah, okay. All right, yeah. Let's, uh, let's get a, a rubbish. No, a mini, a mini schmooze. A, mini. a little schmooze wall. <laughs> All right, let's get this guy, and then here we go. Let's go. Max Elixir. Busted. Woo! We hit three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. A good player would go. hit this. Yeah, that's right. You're right. All right. The people are going down. Let's go. Guzma. <laughs> the and, other one. And uh, let's, yes, give me him. 210. We could have Shishmorshan him. Good. Let's bring out our one guy with all the energy and do that uh, good old Shishmorshan GX. Does Neganado resist fighting too? No. No. Okay, good. All we need is just anything. All right. We need a little more than that. We need like a Sycamore. Just if I could just get a uh, Sycamore. I could easily win this game if I just get a Sycamore, because then I could just get B-String. 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 <laughs> B-String. Even if I just top deck B-String, I could maybe win this game. But this, actually 210 is almost impossible for me to hit. I don't think I could win this game. Oh, it is 210. Yeah, I think we need to start playing choice bands in here. Mm. I think we do. Then you can't beat Buzzrock. I think I think we need to take this list and just turn it into just I feel like turbo buzzwall. It's probably just not good. We just it's need to turn the it problem. in. It's probably just not it's good probably anymore. It's probably just not good anymore. It's probably over. Oh, it could be over. This seems beast rage. I mean, this we, seems really bad. We thought bad. it was over, and then we had that one revelation about it. We were like, oh, you can play parallels and you, you beat Malamar, but I don't even think you beat Malamar. So no, <laughs> this is bad. Oh no, Dusk Main. He beast ring for the Dusk Main. Uh, oh, how did this thing get three <laughs> energy on? Oh, he's beast, beast rigging. <laughs> oh, oh, this is bad. Oh, this is super bad. I'm not a fan of Turbo Buzzwell either, though. I think it, I don't you know. You have a Turbo Buzzwell list, Riley? We can try it. I think Turbo Buzzwell could be fine. I know. There's the Duskbane. He's on the scene. I guess All right. if we, uh... Zack Attack, I have not decided what I'm playing for well, We Worlds. don't even know. I don't even know what's good right now. There's another set coming out before that. We don't have time for that. Is there another that. set before Yeah, we get the Champion Road set. Yeah, there's the like reprints. a whole... I'm playing for Alligator. I'm playing Rain Dance. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's what you're playing. <laughs> I'm not playing that. I mean, obviously, we have no idea what we're playing. All right, let's see. Sledgehammer. Uh, that's not going to be good, but it's better than promoting one of these guys. Okay, yeah. let's do that. And uh, all right, so we're saying that uh looks like we're going to have to go to Scoop Town. Uh, because then my opponent's gonna knock this thing out. Oh, you got this, my guy. You know what? I don't know. What if I? Okay, let's see. Maybe he ain't got it like that. Yeah, maybe he ain't got it like that. Maybe <laughs> he's got. What he's got a thing on his dawn wings. He just can rush and retreat. That's just ultra space. <laughs> All right. He's just gonna rush it and then retreat. Uh, you're right. Okay, let's get out of here. Ashmi spots. All right, we're, we're, we lose. We lose. We lose. We're we're out. We're not even. It's it's bad. All right. Uh, I'm not feeling the buzz garb. I feel like this is uh, way too hostile out here with uh, with all yeah. that going on, with all that psych like, beast box, horrible matchup. And then I'm not even convinced that the uh, that like Malamar would be a, a great I don't matchup. Think it, I don't. You for don't the really buzz have an to deck. Yeah. Even with like Carbink, you could use Carbink to accelerate a turn. Hope they don't have another Guzma or something. Right. That was like your one out. That's how I uh. beat the one Dawn Wings, but. It doesn't happen. You won't be able to right. do it very often. Buzz Rock right now. Buzz Rock is a pretty wild deck. We got three B strings in here. That's still um, on the channel, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think what we got our super rod. That seems super reasonable. Choice ban. Oh, it's also on the channel with the with the beast. Oh, we also have a beast energy. Well, the one less strong. Yeah. One and more, more fighting. fighting. And I think we should throw like a non ex non GX attacker in here. Take, put, a we'll put a Mew in, not a Mew. Mew would be good. Mew, yeah, Mew would be Mew good for Malamar. All right, let's throw a Mew in here. Um, what, uh, what should we cut? Uh, that 10th fighting. Get that thing out of here. All right, all right, yeah, let's do that. All right, and ship it. Here, let's play it. <laughs> I do want to try out the Baby Like Rock. I know, yeah. Trevor, I do want to try that out. I was thinking about its math, and its math is actually super good um because if your opponent has a full bench it can easily hit like 180 so i do like that um cutting a fighting in 2018 that's what i'm saying that was <laughs> that was i was like yeah i'm gonna take one of these strongs and make it one of these fightings and then Andrew just goes ahead and change the changes that i mean it's fine it's listen y'all just being very critical right now <laughs> i'm just telling you this i'm telling you we needed another another guy in there it could have been pseudo wudo though i don't know cool. I, i've like never no. liked pseudo wudo but I don't know. Maybe with the uh, maybe with the young Diancy, Pseudo Udo can really get up there and hit some crazy numbers. I like that man. He takes two attachments, man. Two. Azul's playing eleven 
energy with no B strings? What in, in this format? I don't know. That sounds wrong. I think I think I that think must have been me- last. I think he's memeing. I think he's memeing right now because he played us. he played ten fighting, which was he played awesome. Eleven. He played eleven. Oh, he played eleven. Right, right, right. But that was last format. That was without B string. Oh, why do we have one of these in here? I, he's probably the right one, move. One, I saw I have a one-one split. Ah, okay. Corner's still good, but also the seventy two. Oh, we good. definitely need corner still. Corner. That's is why I made a. I did it a one-one split. Yeah. Mm. Got it. All right. Let's. Uh. Yeah. I don't know. Let's. Uh. Sure. Let's put that guy down. And then. Uh, we'll Encounter. See. We'll see what we can do. You need, yeah, you need more basic, basic energy. energy. We're playing super rad. We're playing super rad. You're totally fine. We got super rad. Another right. one. Another beast box. Oh, my goodness. All right. We're going to see if this deck could. Uh... Andrew Dankus. Me, 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 oh, me, me. Andrew Dankus <laughs> just left a comment to let us know that he won a League Cup. No, he couldn't win his third League Cup. I around. know. But he. But it was kind of like oh, a, you know, he's also letting us know that he's won two. He I wants remember everybody my to know. first League Cup win. <laughs> Andrew Dankus wants everybody to know he won two League Cups. So everybody tell Andrew Dankus how good he is. Yeah. Dankus doesn't even have his invite yet, so <laughs> he can't even get it until he goes to a regional. Um, but... Oh, wait, the quarter's <laughs> up soon. He can get it. I'm, I, I lied. Uh-huh. But uh, what's up, Ethan? What's up, Gravesaw? How Will you guys Dankus doing? Will Dankus be able to get the last 15 points he needs? Stay okay. tuned. We're looking like this is going to be Rock Rough City out here uh, for sure. Does this people, is he weak to psychic? He is weak to psychic. Ooh. I can I do not have goose in my hand. All right. And it doesn't you can't you really do sixty anyway. That's just uh yeah, that's not the play. So I feel like we're going to When he gets second he needs in Toronto, to get a lot win? of energy in play. So let's do this here. Why No, we need to ultra ball away. Yeah, the buzzwall and that. Yeah. We want like a rocks. Like a rock seems good. Um let's go get ourselves the Lele. Sure. Let's do that. And then let's also, uh, sure, I'll just ultra space and get, uh, nope, seems bad. All right. I think we're just going to not get one, right? Um, uh, you kind of need You need one. to be able to use one to absorption something, and then I think after that you kind of like leave it alone. I don't think I absorption. I you think guess, I, I'm going to dangerous rogue. Did, you dangerous, either way, you're not gonna, using Jex to knock out one guy. I think I put him down the turn I start beast ringing. Yeah, probably. Yeah, so yeah, I think I like that's that. that seems like more reasonable to me. All right, and then we're going to do this, and we're going to do that. Cynthia. And we're going to do that. Save it. Yeah, we're going to get a Cynthia. Oh, for show. For show, we got Cynthia. All right. Go get that Cynthia. I see. Pissimian counters Beast Box. New meta. I think Pissimian <laughs> has a play. Oh, Pissimian gets a nice Monkeys. boost with the. Diancy. Didn't even think about that. That's awesome. Cynthia gets a hot new boost. All right. With that, um, what am I doing here? This feels bad. Oh, we're getting a remoraid. That's true. I doing. think we're going to get a remoraid and hope. That's what the scenario calls for. And uh, I cannot encounter. Oh, yeah, you should have Lily. Was a Lily in the deck? Oh, yeah, yeah I should have Lily. We don't have Lily in Buzz Rock. No, never mind. We no, don't Gra have. Grave we don't have one. That's Buzz Garp. Yeah, we don't have Lily in this list right now. We could play Lily, but we don't have one in this list currently as it is. Probably should have retreated the Mew into something else there. I tried to, but I think I ran out of I don't know. Oh, oh well. We out here now, boys. Corner the dust man. Uh, we out here now. I could corner. Oh, I could have cornered. I probably should have just attached to this one. And then he would have had to dusk shot. Oh, uh, dusk shot. Actually, no, 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 I don't like that. <laughs> Never mind. Uh... Oh, yeah, I had to put the energy here so I don't get <laughs> dusk shotted. <laughs> this is bad. Um, Andrew, can we? What is Tabalt? I think he's saying battle. Oh, yeah, I don't know what Tabalt is. All right. Oh, just a good old... Rooney. I'm in. All right, let's go. I think that we just... Yeah, Lily is good in Buzzguard. Bench... You just don't have a lot oh, of Oh, Andy first... scooped. All right. Beast Must... Box, good matchup. Beast... <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great matchup. All right, on to play more Malamar, because that's the deck I want to play. All right, let's play, let's play Malamar again. Uh, these decks be way too scary out here with all these psychic Pokemon in them for Buzzwole. Like, goodness, I do not want to play... Why is my PTCGO not going? Can anybody answer oh, that? Oh, there it goes. It, all right. Just took me way too long. Can anybody answer that? <laughs> yeah. All right. Here we go. So, yeah. We're going to go in. Uh, we're going to go back in with Malamar. That's, like, way more fun than getting playing against uh, Nagandels <laughs> with Buzzballs. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who in the world wants to do that? Uh, that is not, not even remotely what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to just smoke some people with Malamar. That'd be great. So, what a win. I know, Keegan. We take what we can get out here, though, you know? We uh, we take what we can get for sure. Let's see. We got nothing. All righty. That's fine. 
Loving having the letters back. They're so good, so good early. But they do they do limit us a little bit. But I think just having you know having the option to get the deck set up, having the option to get the energy juiced and going. Okay, this is a good starting hand. It's a fine starting hand. It's not great. Here we go. I'm what just gonna is, be festive. Oh, oh what are you being with festive? The, with the, <laughs> the Malamar. We have the deck right here because I had to look at it. Oh, uh, okay. See, what I'm wondering is, like, how come I have, like, eight ball search cards, but I'm never starting any of them? <laughs> uh, if you could just, you know. Hard if you, mode. If you just get me one. Oh, okay. There's that boy. It doesn't matter you. which Remoraid you play. It does, I have, I have pulled one time. I've just, I just am curious to look at this Remoraid because I don't get to look at the other ones very often. He's got a nice artwork. Uh, he does have a nice artwork. I've played against, I think I may have played against this Remoraid once in a tournament before. Oh, go in. Go in. All right. Letting it rip. He's got the, I think that was a Max Elixir, right? He's got a Max Elixir early. Got a Brooklyn Hill that I can't use. Um, would you mind telling me what an archetype deck is? I think an archetype just means like a build, a specific build. Okay, well, if there's any question about what we're doing, it's uh, Cynthia. Let's take a look at the- How do you the... pronounce Naganadal? I think Naganadal. Naganadal, yeah. Naganadal, uh, yeah. Naganadal, something. All right, so we've got a ton of Mysterious Treasure and Ultra Ball in the deck, just uh, nothing in our hand. So I think that we do attach the Psychic here just in case we need to retreat it. Cynthia. And then Cynthia. Let's hope we don't What's up, get Xenors? donked. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that, Xander. It's, uh, it's all good. All right, this is a great hand for me. Inkies. Uh, I think that I need to get a couple of Inkies. I actually want to get one Inky. Ugh. Weird. Okay. I think what I want to do is here, here, let's let her expand our hand. And do I have my... Get a battle, I think. Oh, is my... Oh, no. Hey, I are prize. both my Lele and my Ru prized. Uh -oh. The Lele and the Orangaru are prized? You, I think you get a... Ah, uh... oh, that's bad. Metal. Okay. Uh, I think <laughs> I probably get a medal and a Psychic. Right, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. All right. We're going to get a metal. I mean, if you don't have a supporter, you might only... Yeah. Um. I remember back to Medic Tricky X. Let's just get these two. I'm I'm not going with the metal. All right, we're just going to the get these two. was never that good, though. And then let's... Mysterious Treasure. And let's get another... We could get a Mew, but we can't encounter for free. I think we have to get another one of these. And then I think I have to like, oh my goodness, this is so bad. Um, I think I have to like Ultra Ball. I'll Ultra Ball next turn. I can Invasion. Oh, that feels so bad though. I can't Hypnosis, that's bad. I could just retreat into this Ultra Necrozma and just like hope. Yeah, that's that's the plan. All right, retreat. And we're hoping we top deck. That's, uh, that's the play there, okay. I should what? Never mind. Never mind. Okay. So I think I that lied. this is where we are. It's not ideal, but, I mean, we can't have the Inke start to get knocked out by the Mew. That actually makes this matchup, like, way closer than it used to be. Um, yeah, I think I think we need that. Anyway. Yeah. Well, the thing is that this is, like, totally a fine – I mean, this is just, like, bum luck on our part because we prized both our Lele – and our Oranguru. Like, yeah, usually think, you have both, like, one or the other. <laughs> I think the, uh... Yeah. I think the, um, the matchup would be better if you had, if you had the Mew anyway. Because, like, your best win condition is to knock out, hunt down the Inkies early. Oh, for sure. And if you can't do that, you're kind of stuck, so... For sure. I think next turn, like, I can put myself in a fine position next turn by... I can get a Malamar up and just charge up the... Dawn Wings, and he's going to Jet Punch, and that's that's fine. Ultra Necrozma would take a little hit there. One of my Inkies gets damaged. If I could top deck, like, a Malamar, that'd be so, oh, Beast Energy. Okay. Um, that doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> I think I need to Ultra Ball both of these away for a Malamar and charge my Dawn Wings. Yep, that's what the plan is. All right, so we're going to do that. And we are going to get a Malamar. No, we're going to get a Malamar. <laughs> Behave, please. And then we're going to evolve the damaged one, I think. Yeah. Oh, gosh, that's bad. You have uh, to. Have or to. else you can take a double knockout. Right. 
Well, if I got this one, then it can't jump punch it for knockout. Yeah. But that's because I need I need a psychic recharge next turn. Like I need one, or else. I think like, a double knockout be worse for you though. So. You're probably right. I don't know. Yep. Um, All right. Hill. We've uh, got no hand already. So that's uh, that's that's where we are. But if we could just top deck a good card next turn, then we're going to be totally fine. However, that Mew is uh, going to eat that Malamar alive for sure. Malamar Duck is having some weird... But this is not our... I mean, Riley, we play like two Ultra Ball outs to Pokemon to get us out of this situation. They're just both prized. That's one in a hundred games. You know what I'm saying? Like only one in a hundred games am I going to prize both the Oranguru and the Lele. Like the odds of that happening are super small. So I'm not really... Oh, and they didn't. Uh -oh. oh, we're actually totally fine. Uh, unless he's knocking this thing. Oh, is he knocking it out? Did he no, not, not? Did he not do the damage? 170, 190. No, he didn't do the resistance yet. He didn't do the resistance. It wasn't really... Oh, you know, hopefully we top deck a psychic, though. This is really good. <laughs> yep. Uh, dink. All right. We didn't get there. <laughs> so, oh, we got a Guzma. That's really good. Okay, so let's... Retreat, uh, I can't retreat. I could Guzma an invasion. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Guzma. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to Guzma... Up the yep, that boy. Yeah, get him out of yep, here. Yep, yep. And then you're gonna give him the old Oh, give him the old razzle he, dazzle. He held a <laughs> there we go. Uh you should have knocked out that Malamar when you had the chance, my guy. All right. Uh so that is amazing. Uh let's go ahead and invasion Brooklyn here. <laughs> Brooklyn Hill. Busted maneuver. All right. And uh Oh no, you need doesn't Oh, it's fine. He it's needs not... to be ahead on prizes for yeah. me to do this oh, is still a knockout right. though. Mm. It's still a knockout. Like it's good for me. So it's like I would. Rip a supporter. Lele. Hey, there's there's our Lele. Okay, we are back in the game, and now I mean he needs to. I would he I would have to Guzma. He could double knock out both of these guys if he That's has bad. Guzma in hand. Yeah. That would be really bad for me. Or like an. Oh, there's a B string. Okay, yep, that's stressful. Oh, did oh? he fail the B string? Okay, okay. no. It shovels it first. That's weird. Okay, so and and okay. Um, yeah, so I think, like, he's going to jet punch there. We actually ripped totally fine off of this, so that is cool. I want to go get the um, – I actually want to go get the Dawn Wings, I think, because I think, like, he Dawn probably Wings. doesn't want to deal with the Dawn Wings. The Dawn Wings is active. No, the other one. You have two in there? Isn't there a non-EX, non-GX? Is that a Dawn Wings? No. Oh, you Lunala. Oh, it's a Lunala. That's what that is. Right. Yeah. The Lunala. I was like, what? <laughs> I would like to go get the Lunala, please. <laughs> That's who I would want here. <laughs> Uh, Lunala takes like four energy though, so I actually can't, I actually can't power up that Lunala uh, efficiently at all. So let's uh, let's see what we got. I think we're just banking on hitting a floatstone. I haven't played one yet, so yeah, let's let's just do that. And then I haven't GX'd, right? No. So I could knock out this Mew with my GX attack, right? Yeah. Have six prizes been taken? No. No. Four prizes have been taken. So you could only use this when what? You know, I play Ryan's cards is six or less. Oh, that's not that good. All right. So, no, we're not doing that. Let's, uh, hmm. I don't think I could, like, no, no, no. Yeah, we need to attach that there. Let's see. I think I could Ultra Ball both Psychics here for, I think we'd probably just knock this thing out. No, that's, like, the last thing I mm -hmm. want to do. Oh, we get a Mew. Yeah, let's do that. That's good. All right, so we're going to get our own Mew. And then we are going to attach the Psychic there, or the Metal there, and then second more. Okay, okie schmokey. And how in the world have we not hit a Float Stone yet? Okay, all right, that's bad. Let's see. That, how did we not hit a Float? We played four. Oh, my goodness. Okay. That's, uh, that's bad. Yikes. That is bad. Um, it's an option for this deck, but this deck doesn't have as aggressive of draw as like the other decks that are playing it, so it's not nearly as good. This is uh, really got me on the ropes here. I play four Floatstone. There's no... Oh, can I... I don't have my Super Rod either, or else I could have Super Rod the Dawn Wings back in. Yeah. Um, potentially two Dawn Wings. We could play two Dawn Wings. That's, I like two Dawn Wings. We could play two Dawn Wings. I think I need to field blower. Uh, let's yeah, let's all right, sure. Let's field blower. Let's uh, get rid of the choice bin and the floatstone there, sure. And then let's also professor's letter here. 
I think I can get those. That's fine. And then I think I'm going to mysterious treasure away that. And I'm going to get another inky. I need that. We really need the Oranguru. Like that, the Oranguru big prize is like, you could tell how much it's hurting our deck right now. We just can't, like, I would just go get it. Like, I would just go draw three more cards and see if we would hit it, but we just don't. Right, Riley, there's like a bunch of issues though. It's like the Oranguru would be a great option. And if I had the Oranguru, we would have been drawing like way more this whole game. And we probably would have really never needed the second, you know, Don. I mean, to be honest, we probably wouldn't have needed it because we would have been drawing more the whole time. So I think I go Psychic Recharge. And where do you where do you put these energy? Probably just in a Cosmo. On the Mew? I feel like he's a hot target though. Like he, he is could a, just so, but the Mew, uh you could I feel like I put him on the Mew. Yeah. So that way it's either like either you take a non EX or you take a guy with no energy on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you can't give him both worlds. You can't say like you're gonna wipe my energy and you're gonna take my, my non EX, non GX. Okay. So yeah, and then we just gotta wait. So it's a bad situation to be in. Um, my opponent could take a double knockout if they could just Guzma this turn, which they have to have a Guzma. If they Guzma, they'll double knock out my Mew. They also get another turn with Beast Ring, which is just absurd. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, it's just a rough spot, rough spot to be in. Oh, they, oh, they have Guzma, retreat Guzma. Oh, they're taking a double knockout. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, buddy. So I think we're probably just out of this game, uh, no matter which way we chalk it up. Uh, yeah, losing both those, that's like Jay horrible. Boogie? Yeah, so that's just uh, that's just a horrible, horrible, horrible luck there. I don't think there's anything we could do about Justin, this. Justin, we're letting your son Malamar so, down. Let's see. It's fine. We're just drawing. Like we prize some weird stuff. It's just been it's been awkward. Um, I think that I need to. Well, go. I can't even end my opponent. I don't think there's any way I prevent them from taking these final knockouts here. I think I need to. Oh, you're giving me the good game already. That's what you're just telling me that's how it is, huh? I mean, there's not really anything you can do. What do you mean? <laughs> right. If he knocks you out, it doesn't even matter if you knock out one of his guys. He's just spamming the well played. All right. He's really cool. All right, my guy. This is fine. We are going to go. He's probably got win in hand, I imagine. So It doesn't matter, though. I mean, even if he doesn't, because like, you knock out the buzz wall, he can dangerous rogue, or he can claw slash with one other right. knock out. So. Well played, Mr. Longs. Well played. All right, so that's fine. We're just going to go in here, retreat, and, uh, yeah, we're just going to full moon start. Go ahead, my guy. I didn't do the G. I, I'm like. I'm going to wait. I would wait the full 15 seconds right here. <laughs> I would just be like, right? All right, that's yep, fine. for this attitude. You impatient? You, you impatient? <laughs> <laughs> he wants me to scoop so bad. Yeah, I would wait the uh, full 15 seconds. I'd just be sitting here, and I'd be like, yep, uh, I'd be attaching really slow. Really slowly. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right, show me what you got, my guy. I also remember my first one. Go ahead and Guzma me out. Show it to me. Yep. Go ahead and do mute it. Mute him. <laughs> no, you can click on him. I mute anybody if they sent me two things. <laughs> if they sent me two th things, I'm like, that's enough. I'm gonna <laughs> I've had enough of this. <laughs> oh, he's going to show me the choice fan. He's not even anxious. No, he just, he just has it. There you go. All right, well, good game to Mr. Longs. You did it, my guy. Congrats. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and knock me out. Put me out of my misery. Great. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try this again. That was like a weird mid-game stall there with the with both the Oranguru and the Lele Prize. That's like super unfortunate. Uh, obviously, like the two Dawn Wings Necrozmas is an option uh, just to be able to have the option to be able to still stand in there. Right. But I think like that. Yeah, I'm only playing one Lele, but I think. That the one Lele, one Oranguru, usually you have options to be able to continue drawing throughout the course of the game, and it's not so bad. I just want to try this list out a little bit more. That's fine. So we I'm get, like, higher, you know, higher game counts in here, and especially on PTCGO. I feel like I always draw weird on PTCGO, so I don't know. All right. <laughs> this hand is pure flames, though, so we're totally fine. Uh, McFuego. Oh, no, this is definitely Fuego hands. So hello, Joshua. Oh, Justin, you think it sounds like an excuse? Well, uh, Square let's, up, buddy. Uh, let's go. Yeah. All right. Looks like this is Espeon Garb. I actually think I could beat this deck, so let's uh, let's give it a, a good old try. See how we do. Oh, Garb is probably not great for us, but Dawn Wings probably is fantastic. So I think that we need to Mysterious Treasure away that, 
And then we're gonna go get ourselves an inky. And yeah, let's just grab ink. And then that Tauros can definitely knock out my Mew. Let's just go in with the Lele. Yup. I think you Cynthia though. You think I Cynthia and I don't Lily? Oh, Lily, yeah. I see if your Lily's in there. It is in there. It is, yeah. Yeah. I think I'm probably going to grab I just meant not Sycamore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's grab the Lily. Um, yeah. yeah, I like two Dawn Wings too, Riley. Andrew's been against it, but I could see it after we play. I don't know. Where do you where do you put it? Another, we'll probably take one of the letters out. Huh? Take a Crosmo. Take, oh, two, two. Mm. <laughs> I could see it. I could see it. All right. Let's, uh yeah, let's throw the choice band onto the Mew. That's fine. And then let's, uh I could really burn through my items here and, and just feel blower it. But I think I'm fine with this. I don't think. Encounter. Hmm. I, I think Lily. I'm going to. No, um. I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw up the Lele. I don't yeah, want to really. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, so let's just do that. And then I think let's just Lily. Yep. See what we get here. I'll draw out a six. Nice. That's pretty good. Let's just uh, Professor's Letter here. Grab two right, right, more. Right. I agree. Gra agrees with what? He says, well, Andrew, when have you ever needed a third alternate Krasma in any of these games? <laughs> you don't. <laughs> uh, but what if you prize one? Then you use one and then you can. Uh, all right. Let's. Uh, Steal Plus you have Lunala. made a copy alternate Cosmos attack. And then let's uh, Ultra Ball. Actually, I'm fine with having energy on Lele. I can, like, Tapu Cure and stuff. And if I wanted to, I probably won't. I'll probably end up GXing this thing, to be honest. Then we're going to Mysterious Treasure away. Let's Mysterious Treasure away. Another Psychic Energy. Going to get another Inky. And I think we're just going to, like, go ham. I think, like, we're just going to get, like, an early uh, Dawn Wings. And just uh, hope that my opponent can't deal with it. I think I am going to actually let this Mew get knocked out and try to bait my opponent into knocking the Mew out so that I can just Dawn Wings them. Right. And just, like, knock it out. And then right. they'd be like, whoa. And I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Is that what sick. you'd be like? Yeah, I'd be like, whoa. Yeah, that'd be sick. All right, so let's do that. Let's uh, let's go for it and see what my opponent's got. So let's try to bait them into taking the first. Uh, let's see. How many Mew do I play? I'm just playing the one Mew. What if I prize oh, my the, only Dawn He's got the Dawn raw Bridget wings? in hand. He does have the Bridget straight from the hand. You're right. Maybe we end up playing two. We probably end up with all... I mean, it depends. we got to see, like, what the meta looks like as well. If it's less Zorark decks, more Psychic decks, then, like, obviously we play the two, uh, the two Dawn Wings. I think that that just makes, like... And especially if there's a lot of, like, Garb decks as well, then two just makes, like, so much sense. So we probably end up doing it. It's just, like, I was... At first, I think I was anticipating more... Um, oh, they took it. They took Labate. So let's see if we can uh, take advantage here. Uh, I think I'm going to promote my... Well, yeah, let's throw a full on this guy. Yeah. All right. Take out one line of Malamar, toss in two Dawn Wings. I don't want to take out any Malamars. You guys have seen what Parallel City can do to these guys. It's not pretty. All right, so let's do that and that, and then let's... Uh, they have a float stone on their active. I think I'm just going to Ultra Ball for the... Yeah, for the guy. I'm going to Ultra Ball away, a Psychic in this. The, I'm going to go wings. get the Dawn Wings right now and right. just hope I hit a Malamar. or Big big Dawn Man. Big Dawn Man, let's go. All right, here he is. And here we go. There's an energy. And N. Come on. Give me a Malamar, 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 Malamar. Oh, Woo! yeah. Dude, that's, that, uh, that Espeon is getting uh, punished. This is what is uh, about to go down over there. That thing is getting punished for show. So let's uh, let's uh, punish island. Yep, the punish village. Take him there. All right, so we got two Malamar, and we are getting a turn. This is a turn two, right? Yeah. Yeah. And deck go off, go off deck. All right, and here we go. So we got air, and uh, then we're gonna do uh, another one. Psychic recharge. Yep. So now we are at least invincible for a couple turns. So Dawn Wings is confirmed taking three prizes at least i have to imagine right uh unless he brings up the tauros he can't really do anything. but if he brings up the tauros like i'm fine with that so let's just uh retreat and send this guy off to the punish town all right moon's eclipse gx that's the one do it oh yeah tons of damage we're talking like <laughs> 360 damage 360 killer how many, how many dawn rings do we have in real life there is the orangadu 
All right, we are, uh, Riley, all right, I might be on board with you, man. I don't know. Don Wings is proving to be, like, super good in almost all Andrew these matchups. Andrew doesn't listen to so. any of us unless we badger him enough times. So. Uh, whatever, all right, but I do eventually listen, so, okay. So, like, it's looking like the Don Wings is probably favorable in, like, but most of the matchups that I'm seeing here. Um, but I was expecting more Zorark decks. I was expecting more Zorark decks, which, you know, hasn't necessarily been the case, so... I think a good mix of psychic attackers and dragon attackers is probably in order. <laughs> Let's see. And my opponent just throws up the Tauros. I am fine with that because I'm probably just going to go and Lunala. Uh, do my Lunala thing here. I think I'm just going to Ultra Ball away to these metals. And I can always super odd those back in. I don't really care. Uh, let's go get another Malamar. And my opponent's got the good old Garb out. So that means that they only can trash land. Oh, they have two trash lands, guys. All right, things are getting a little sketch. But they only got two cards in hand. That's because they're playing an Espeon deck, which doesn't really draw that many cards. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, at this point I probably have infinite items in this card pile. We're talking three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We eight. Yeah, they have a lot, so that's fine. Let's just um, Sycamore. Dengus, we thought about it. It's just the only problem is that you have to have, uh, you have, to have a lot of energy to knock out a... Um, a Zorak with the regular Necrozma. Let's see. You have to do what? You need a, You need four to knock out a Zorak. Oh, so. I can't really charge anything up with this Lunala. Um, I think that I probably... What is this GX detect? Does three, three times? You don't, it's attack. Got a don't attack it. I can hit it with a Lele. Uh, what? So it would be 40, and then 40... Yeah. And then three times you can hit it with Layla. would be 120. Just don't attack with Dawn Wings. Not, oh, obviously we do not attack this with the Dawn Wings. Bad. Um, so let's... Uh, I don't even have any energy worth Psychic Recharging right now, so there's no point in playing Field Blower quite yet. Let's just retreat into a Layla, and then we'll do a give little bit like that. Smack. And we're going to give him the old... Just a little, little, a little punch. Poke. A little love punch. There he goes. Okay. And if my opponent, uh, you know, knocks it out with a Trashland Scarbador, then I'll just come in hot with my own Dawn Wings and knock out the Garb and, uh, I don't know, hopefully just charge up another attacker, maybe Lunala Prism, something like that, with a Field Blower. We're kind of just off to the races here. Um, <laughs> uh, everyone listens to me except my friend, <laughs> Andrew Mahone. Uh, I do listen, Riley. I, do, I listen all the time. Uh, I just also He's have got my extremely own. selective hearing. Also, <laughs> I do have extremely selective hearing. Uh, Zoark in twenty eighteen. What is the in twenty eighteen? Is this a meme that I don't know about? Like, oh, you're so old. is this a meme? Is this something that the kids say these days? Yeah. Oh boy. Hmm. Oh, what's going on? Bad. Uh, parallel. No, 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 no. I need all of these guys. Oh, I think I lose now. <laughs> I think I just lose. This is, uh, I think, irrecoverable. I think I get rid of both my Malamars. No. Uh, do you Lunala. get rid of the Lana? That Lunala could be the key to success. What? Do you, how are you going to power that up when you don't have uh, Malamars to attack it with? I could, two he could charge up some boys. He could know. definitely charge up some boys. You, got, you can discard the Malamars, but then you have to take a turn using uh, using the, the full moon star. All right, fine. You're right. Okay, we're just going to do those. Okay, so then we're going to... Fine. I'm probably fine. I have to imagine that this Tapu Lele is getting uh, smoked. So, oh, there are infinites. If there's any question about how many items are in my the discard answer pile... The is answer is uh, tons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think that's how this deck wants to win the matchup. Like, you want to win the matchup by um, just trying to trade with your opponent um, and just hoping that... You like I it also when, like when cards go to the I lost zone. I don't like when my cards go to the lost zone, guys. That is lame, and I do not like it. All right, let's uh, yeah, let's just go here, and then I think we're gonna give it a good old-fashioned yak. Um, that probably feels appropriate. Oh, this is not good. We have to knock out this thing, and then like bad, just bad. Um, they have four cards in hand. Yeah, let's just sick one. We need like as many cards as possible. And we also, like, want to hit a field blower. We did hit a field blower. Yay. All right. And then I guess I could also rod a couple things back in. <laughs> because I like it there. <laughs> oh, I know. The first time we were playing games with prisms, I was like, I can't wait to put this guy in the lost zone. Whoa, stop. Hold your horses. I'm trying to field blower. Hello? All right, field blower. Give them the good old field blower. Get rid of that and that, that, and that. Is it done? Done. Did it get two? 
I did get two. All right, thank goodness. Okay, so we're back in business there. Then I think that we have to super rot as well. There are just infinite items in the discard pile. I just don't really care at this point. There's like nothing we could do about it. I think I may actually go get my Lele and try to end my opponent to one. So I think I'm going to like throw that back into the deck, a metal back into the deck. Oh, just both metals. Yeah. yeah We're going to throw them, those. Ending them to one is a good good way to win. Good way to win. Yep. Uh, definitely good. So let's... Uh, I think that I'm not going to need these last two Ultra Necrosmos. Riley, be quiet. Uh, I think I'm probably... Yeah. Riley? Um, I think I'm probably not going to need them, and I'm just going to go get this now so that, you know, in case my opponent does decide to uh, parallel me or oh, set up... Now, yeah. yeah, I'm just going to go grab the end now, just so, like... Uh-oh. Oh. oh, boy. All right. Well, we should have checked the good old deck first, but uh, it's fine. We have Guzma as an option. All right, so potentially we should have... I was typing it when you told me to be quiet. <laughs> uh, yes, I, you were. He was typing a C, so I did predict that. Let's see. We will probably also just throw, um, like just psychic recharge. Throw an energy onto ultra. Ultra Necrozma, I think. I feel like you can you wait 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 wait. wait. What's up? Is you can knock out uh, trash lands with Nalmar. Oh, you can I knock it out? Your... How? Then I have to retreat. No, I just meant in like the future. Oh, in the future. Yes. I could knock it out with Malamar. Fairly, like, that does sound Justin. pretty good. You could psychic spear. Oh, that is pretty good. Should I knock it out with Malamar right now? I don't know. No, he's got three prizes remaining. Yeah, I don't think he'd do it now. Yeah, yeah. So let's, uh, no, three prizes remaining bad. I need to attack with GX attackers yeah. from here on out. Okay. Um, so let's, uh, yeah, psychic recharge. Yeah, we're just going to throw a couple boys onto that thing. And then we're also going to throw an energy probably onto my Lele, who is now here. And we're going to Dark Flash. Knock this thing out. Tapu Lele is my favorite attacker. Yes, Tapu Lele is uh, getting in here. Yeah, he's getting his feet wet for sure. He's definitely producing some damage. So hopefully, I mean, my opponent, it's bad for me if they actually get the Trash Lanch attack off on this Dawn Wings this turn. Yes, and then I was going to say, and get another Trubbish down. Have to imagine that that's what they just got going on here. That's, like, really bad for me. And I can't end them to one. Oh, they had two Guzmas. What is the last card in their hand? Probably supporter. Are they just go That or they're going Lele right now. Yeah. They didn't have anything. Uh, I could have just kept the abilities off, and I might have been able to win. <laughs> oh, they had nothing. They had him with just Guzmas. But I couldn't have known that. I could not have known that. So this is proving to be kind of a tough matchup. I think... I expected this to be a tough matchup, though. When you have two Dawn Wings, it won't matter. Oh, you think when I have two two Dawn Wings, you think, fine, I'll, th I'll throw the second Dawn Wings in and we can test with it. Mm -hmm. um, you don't just have to do to... it now, but I just mean in the future. If you're scared of Parallel, you can play your own so they can't play theirs. That's true, TB Gaming, but they do tend to play. Did they get? They play Field Blowers. Did, they, so... did they whiff it? Did they whiff it? Oh, tell me they whiffed it. They did. They attached They it. did whiff it. But oh, they, they attached to the SPN. Oh, they knocked me out? Oh, they Still, me out? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, they knocked me out. Okay. That's uh, that's bad. That's fine. And I don't even have a... Okay. And I'm not knocking this thing out with an Ultra Necrozma either. We need to promote this guy. All righty. This is not good. This is definitely what they call bad. Um, I could I could get in there with the young Tapu Lele and give him an old tap here. That seems bad. Um, I could also... Yep. Doesn't seem like a lot of great options here. Um, let's see that, or I'm going for because I don't knock them out. I do like 180, right? You know, photon guys are with a psychic. Yeah. This is just bad news. Uh -huh. Yep. Here we go. So let's just uh, he's got one prize remaining. He could divide GX. Oh, he's just got game next turn. If I don't mm -hmm. knock this thing out, he's got game. So that's it. We would just have to like uh, yeah, that's it. You got it, my guy. I should. Mm. Yeah, it's too late now. Too late to apologize. All right. Yeah, let's just Cynthia. That's fine. Yeah, no matter what, I am uh, I'm losing. So there's oh I could have oh my gosh yeah yeah I didn't realize that I okay I'm yeah I should have just knocked that thing out gone for the field blower and we could have done it that way but uh, there is there's nothing more we could I mean there is more we could have done but all he would have needed was to have trash just lunch to have trash lands for game yeah so that's a good game to my opponent they got it. Yeah, we should have probably waited on the energy attachment. I didn't realize that I had another field blower in deck. I thought I had taken them all out. So 
Uh, he definitely would have got it. I have to imagine that my opponent probably would have gotten the trash lands for game. So. Right. Oh, well, let's try one more Dawn Wings in here. We're going to try throwing in one more Dawn Wings into the Malamar deck at the suggestion of my great friends. They divide, friends. Riley. They, oh, they would divide. Yeah, they did have game on board. They, they would just divide. Di- they just had divide. divide a Malamar. But I'm just thinking, like, if I had actually gone through, not attacked to the energy to Lele, hit the field blower and the metal, or not the metal, uh, hit the field blower, yeah, and the metal, yeah, 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 and then been able to knock him out, then like all he would have needed was just. I know I could have KO'd with beast energy, but I had already attached that turn, so I could have hit the beast over. energy. Uh, I shouldn't have attached that one. Um, uh, just the one energy there. I think I have a rainbow dawn wings. Let's throw that guy in here. Dawn wings, dog wings. Dawn. Oh yeah, there he is. Get out of here. All right. A sweet. rainbow man. A rainbow man. That's how you know we should be playing too. Why'd I do what? Oh, I shouldn't have done it, Riley. I just wasn't thinking. I'm trying to talk and play, and I'm not. You know, it's just. Uh, yeah, Riley paid them. I'm a little rusty. <laughs> it's been like a week since I've played PTCGO, so we're just uh, we just try to get out here. Davey, I do think that this uh, this deck is... I do think it's good. I think it has potential. I don't think... like It probably won't end up being the best deck ever, but I, I at least like playing it. It's a lot of fun to play. I'm kind of tired of playing Buzzwool. I thought I'd never say the day, but... Uh, never see the day, but... A little tired of playing Buzzwool right now, especially with all these Psychic decks out here. Oh, it's definitely going to see a lot of play, for sure. Uh, and I do think the deck definitely has potential. Alrighty. Pretty good. Xander Homeschool. What kind of deck list are you trying to send me, my dude? What kind of deck list are you trying to send me? I'm really busy this weekend, so I don't I don't have time a lot of time to just like play a lot of different lists. Just trying to get a grasp. Oh, we should be Oh, this is actually a close matchup. I was gonna say, like, we should be cool. But we did just take out our second uh big one hit KO man. So let's see what we can do here against Guardi. I lost my one game against Guardi that we played on the tabletop series, but I think that this is a fine matchup. I think I just drew some awkward hands in that tabletop series that we played, so I should be okay. I'm not really all that concerned. And we do have the Mew. I mean, that's like kind of, I think that Mew makes a better argument for a 1 1 split or a 2 2 split of the GX Pokemon for sure. Because. Mew can act as kind of a third copy of either of them and can use the attacks of either. So I'm definitely starting to see the merits of that. Alrighty, let's see what we got here. This is great. I think I'm going to use my professor's letter here and just grab two psychics. And I feel like I'm going to attach a psychic to my Mew just in case I need to encounter this turn. I feel like that's like not even a bad play. So uh, let's just... Yeah, I don't think the metal. Do you attach the metal, you think? No. No. Yeah, yeah. I'll hold that. Let's just attach a psychic to you. You're going to need the metals to, to use alternate cosmo with. Right. So, so I like that they're there. They're going to knock that out faster than they're going to I like yeah. probably let's just throw the floatstone down and then let's just Cynthia. All right. Let's get it going. Get the party started in here. Cynthia, good stuff. Oh, busted. Who needs Bridget? We don't need it. Okay. And then probably the choice band is good in this matchup, so I probably want to keep that thing. And then I, just hold that, yeah. uh, I don't really need to ultra ball, so let's just encounter. Oh, I could use hypnosis. Busted. Uh, <laughs> encounter for a Malamar. Oh yeah. That's what we're about to do. Counter for Malamar, really good. Really bad if my opponent just uh, parallels me here. That's that'd be bad, but it's fine. All right, what's going on in the chat? Not too many guardy decks out there. You right? No Max Luxor. It's a different deck with Elixirs. What are you talking about, Tom? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Uh, take out Professor's Letter for Max Elixir. Uh, I don't know about all that. I'm not playing one Max Elixir. not going to play two, one or two Max Elixirs. Uh, it's just you're not really going to anyway. You're not going to really see your return on those. The Professor's Letters are really good. I could just go grab my medals. I can get accelerate energy into the discard pile. I don't really like... Alter the moon in here as much as I like field blower because field blower serves a double purpose. It is a counter to Garbodor and it's also a counter to your parallel city. So I like I like that um, playing a high count of field blower. You could play alter the moon instead of floatstone, but I I don't like that because I don't like putting um, I don't like putting energy on things like Malamar and you really just want to slap a floatstone on there and be done with it. Let's see what we got here. I think we just knock out this Ralts with the Mew here. 
and just uh, say that that's probably how we do it. Yep, I mean, my opponent could bring up this Ultra Decrozma and knock that out. That would be super annoying. Alternatively, I could go in with the Ralts. I could go in with like a Lele or something. I think we gotta put the Lele down just to draw some cards. Yep, uh, I think, show the play mat. Can I knock out, can I knock out that Curlia? I could Guzma and knock out the Curlia. That'd be kind of funny, but I think it's probably not worth it. Let's no. draw. Let's actually draw some cards. All right, let's go I would, in. If, I mean, if you're going to take a knockout, you may as well with the Mew, but I wouldn't waste your Guzma on it. I wouldn't waste a Guzma on it either. Okay, so let's go in. We're going to do that. We're going to do this. And then we're going to do that. I think. Yep. And then let's uh, no use Field Blower in yet or anything like Cynthia. that. Let's just give it a good old Cynthia. All righty. And then we're just going to do a little baby. There we go. Oh, yeah. And then we broken. get to start to charge the boys. Good stuff. And I can Mysterious Treasure away. A Psychic there. That's good to get another one. I still have a Mysterious Treasure in my hand, but I think I'm just going to keep it for now. No real need to do that. So let's see here. What is my discard pile? Just one Psychic. That's fine. And then I could, yeah, no, and I could just encounter, but I think I'll just be a little aggressive here. Take the knockout and go from there. Now, unfortunately, the Mysterious Treasure can't get me another Lele. I only play the one, but uh, let's see. Photon Geyser, Tapu Cure, Energy Drive. I can't knock it out with Energy Drive. So, yep, we're going to go in with the Photon Geyser. Get that Psychic Big Energy in the discard Photon pile. Big Photon Geyser. Big Photons. There you go for 100 damage. Good stuff. Uh, Andrew is not Darium. No, I am not Darium. Uh, even though I am probably the main personality on Darium's Pokemon <laughs> and Darium's competitive Pokemon, I definitely do more videos than anybody right now. So it is uh, arguably, uh, you know, I am uh, I'm kind of becoming uh, that. <laughs> but that's why we're renaming the competitive channel, though. So that's really exciting. I'm definitely stoked to be doing that. Okay, let's. Uh, uh, I think we just we just got it. We just, yeah, we just have it, right? Yeah, we have it. Oh, sweet. So, right? yeah, yeah um, we just we just have it. So, uh, yeah. oh yeah. All right. Bust so that's deck. awesome, and that's awesome, and that is awesome. So just uh, just a handful of awesome, fantastic. You just Another gotta trust one. the deck. Yeah, there it goes. Uh, End dog. I'm working. On, I'm not the main channel. I I don't want the main channel. I want the competitive channel. I though. think it's what he means. So I am buying the competitive channel off of Darium. So that is like something that is. That's something that's happening, so that's exciting. All right, let's see. Let's uh, psychic recharge, and we got one. Do I need another? Oh. I don't have it. I thought I had it. I thought I had two. I only have one in the discard pile. Oh, bad. Uh, that is not good. Let's uh, see here. So I think we need to just go and hit it. Ouch. Ouch. How do we not have another psychic in the discard pile? Not good. I think we need to go hit it, even though that like really is not what we want to do. Mm, um, I thought like I I just miscounted I, my energy in the discard pile, guys. I'm sorry for that. I just thought I had it. Um, let's see here. I could, huh? Okay. I think we need to go in. I think we need to attack. I mean, we assume my opponent has Guzman knockout, right? Probably. If they don't. All right, let's think this one out. If they don't, I mean, I leave an Al Malamar in the active they position. They're on the four prizes anyway. I think you do it. I think you got to do it. All right, let's retreat. Because then you can just return a knockout if you need to, if he knocks it out. That's fine. Let's yeah. just Photon Geyser. Oh, my gosh. That is so painful. Sad. Sad. Super sad. Ugh, if we had a choice ban or anything. We just need one more energy. I just thought we were there. We were not there. But we can go in with a Moon's Eclipse GX, which is actually kind of cool. But shiny dawn I don't think I actually want a Moon's Eclipse GX, though. Um, that just seems not good either. So Max Potion would hurt. You're right, Riley. Max Potion would hurt. I probably should have not attacked. But uh, I I'm thinking it, I could go in with a Lunala a next turn. It is a weird call. I think probably should have not attacked there. I don't know. Because that way, this way my opponent can play cards and like set up their field. Where as maybe before, oh, oh yep, Max Potion does hurt. But that's okay. I was thinking that, yeah, my thought process was that I I just needed to be able to two-shot this thing. Modest Mouse Escape rope. awesome. What is he doing? 
Oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> Lele. Lele. Put up the Lele. Uh, yeah, let's, let's throw up the Lele. <laughs> Modest Mouse was sweet, Matt. Uh, does my opponent have a Guzma or something? Like, what in the world is going on here? Boost energy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and no, he's, only, he's, he's only doing. He's yeah. not doing anything. Yeah, the boost to, energy doesn't get, get a lot there. Of... <laughs> oh goodness! Oh, that was a okay, that was an exhilarating it's turn. It's fine. It's gonna be fine. It is gonna, gonna be gonna, fine. I'm not worried about it. But I don't. Gonna, um, I need uh, like my fourth Cynthia. floatstone or something. Okay. You haven't played. You haven't seen one yet. Uh, I've seen two floatstones. Okay, so that's okay. I oh. think that we just need to hit another floatstone though. I don't want to actually feel blower. I don't think. Uh, but I actually do want to like thin my hand though. Let's Cynthia, fine. We're Cynthia. -ing. Uh, yeah, I don't really know. My opponent, uh, kind of just seemed to have, uh, you know, let me have that one. That's, but you know, my, my draws here are so weird that it doesn't really matter. All right. And you can see how bad having Lele on the bench is. Having Lele on the bench is horrible. Uh, because now I can't Oranguru. And I would be able to Oranguru and maybe potentially hit a Floatstone here. So this is like, not great, but uh, it's also fine, as they say. So that's uh, that's fine. Let's. Um, I could Ultra Ball away my Psychic. I could attach my Metal to the active Ultra Necrozma. That probably feels like the best play. He is like stuck up there. There's nothing I could do about it. I think he's probably gonna be able to knock it out regardless. But it looks like he doesn't have anything. I guess so. Maybe yeah. Throw it on. Throw it on. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not doing any good anywhere else. And then you, I think I'm just going to You need to retreat it next turn if not. I can't, like... right. He has to knock me out. I mean, I did, and it, I actually, he doesn't. I, my opponent, he did Guzma, though. So, I mean, maybe he has a draw supporter. Um, I know, choice ban, right? So, like, we're trying to find a balance because you missed, you might have missed our first couple games, but, like, uh, we do have one choice ban in the list right now, but, like. You're going to lose more often if you don't have Malamars versus we... if you don't have choice bans. We just weren't drawing energy at all. And you can see even in this game, like I missed a knockout just because we haven't seen energy. So we're trying to play two uh we're trying to play two professors' letters right now. Oh. Is he Alrighty then. Yes, he is twilighting. My opponent is just uh yeah, just gonna go ahead and twilight. So that's fantastic. That's great. So, um, but you still don't have a way to get this guy out the act. Yes, I do. We got Guzma. You're going to have to Guzma and kill something that's not the Gardevoir. I'm going to knock out that Lele. Yeah, but you want to kill the Gardevoir. I do, but I can't. So, I, And I could. I could manually retreat, but I don't mm. feel like doing that. You can't manually retreat because then you can't knock it out. Oh, now you can. All right. So, now you can. You now I can. <laughs> I think Guzma's the player. So Ooh, I'm going to... I don't know about that. Oh, wait. Did I do this wrong? No, I didn't. Okay. Yep. So we're going to Guzma, and we could just do it here with that one. And then I think I'm going to Ultra Ball away... Um, Probably these, right? I don't need, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yep, so we're going to ultra ball those away. Guy, yep, so. and then we're going to get a, I don't know, probably that thing. Seems fine. If my opponent, like, loads up I tons like of energy. I like manual retreat, too, Riley. I don't know. Whatever. Why are you going to manual retreat? Because you want to knock out the Guardy. The man doesn't have anything in his hand. I'm, I am, like, very confident that I can knock out that Guardy next turn. I mean, you probably can, but I think you should have knocked it out this turn. The next turn, you could be with my knock it out. Uh-huh. Because my knock out the... Um, I mean, you're probably fine, especially since you got the um, energy in the discard now. But still, I liked. I think I liked the knockout on the. Um... I think I'm yeah, cool. I liked just keeping more energy on play. Like yeah. I, I, I just like keeping my energy. Like, like I'm feel pretty good to go now. Like, granted, okay, if they like Guzma. Yeah, that's photon geyser. If they Guzma and like knock out my damaged one over here, then like I'm probably still fine either way. I don't know. I think I just wanted to. I don't know. I just wanted to have more more options, I think. Yeah, I mean, it, I think it's fine. It's not like a bad play. I think I just probably would have manually retreated. Hmm. Yeah. We're going to see 10 angles from good players. <laughs> <laughs> see, this is why we like keeping the talking in when we're playing our tabletop games. This is how we play. Right. Like, we just, like, you know, argue with each other, essentially. I uh, think it's, like, valuable. Oh, he's got the goose. Oh. See, but he ain't got it. He oh, ain't no. got nothing going Baby, on over here. what is you doing? He ain't got nothing going on, so... This is fine. I think that we are just going to go ahead and go to retreat, Bill. knock out. Let's see. Can I GX? Can I, like, GX these two Ralts? Uh, no, you need – there needs to be six prizes in play. Six prizes taken? Total. Let's Ultra Ball. Okay. I'm going to Ultra Ball away Don Wings and Lunala. All right. So there needs to be six prizes what? There needs to be six prizes taken between both players. 
taken between both players. So how many have been taken? Four. Three, four. Oh, I need to take a couple more, huh? Yeah. All right. That's uh, all right. That's fine. All right, done. And then I think we just throw the metal onto the active here and then give it a good old sycamore. Okay, let's do that. Let's go. All right, there's some energy. All right. Um, how many energy do I have in the discard pile, though? I got one psychic, two psychic in the discard pile. So let's just psychic recharge. Yep. And then I think I'm just, I mean, what if I knock this thing out with a Malamar? I think I like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to knock this thing out with a Malamar. This is how we're going to do it, guys. Um, I think, yeah, I think I just charge. A charge, charge, charge. A charge. Do you not, <laughs> yeah. you don't have it. Yeah, I do. I have three Malamars. I should be able to do it, right? You don't have energy in the discard. I have Ultra Ball oh, okay. and yeah, the technology so. to do so. All right, here we go. So I think we're going to do that. And then, yeah, sure. There's right. no Bridget in this list right now, Tom. There's no Bridget. Yeah, Just eight. Not doing that. All right. Mysterious Treasure and Ultra Ball combo. Psychic Recharge. Okay. So that's fine. So now I'm, like, giving myself some pretty good options to be able to respond to that Guardy there. And, yeah, uh, yeah, I think that this is I probably mean, the play here. Yeah. Because then you, either way, you're going to be able to knock it out. Get in the there, answer. Malamar. Yeah, that is the Charger from Gorillas. A cha -cha, a cha -cha, a cha -cha. Yeah, that's it. Anytime we say, like, hey, can you get the phone the, charger? The phone yeah. char -char. A cha -cha. <laughs> uh, yes, Lenny, we love gorillas. Uh, we do love gorillas. That's I actually have. Because Dawnwings isn't good in this matchup, TB Gaming. I have, uh, yeah, Dawnwings not good in this matchup. He takes three of your boys there. All right, this is fine. We're just going to go ahead and just throw some more energy into play. And, yep, we're going to psychic psychosphere. There we go. Get in there, Malamar. Oh, he's really showing off. He's, in, he's really showing off right now. Nice, Grave So I'm glad you agree. All right. Show me what you could do. Show me he's what you could do, Guardy. He's Malamar for a lot of damage. Get it. Oh, and he's finally got a Cynthia. Oh, yeah. The extra items do leave us weak to guard, but I don't think... I think you need to play this deck with a ton of items. I just don't think that there's... I think Bridget's you, too slow. I think if you want to play... If you want, oh, the deck is like is too slow if you don't play all the items. So, oh, parallel, you say? Okay. Uh, I think the deck's a little too slow if you don't play all these items. So I think against a deck like Garb, you probably just hope to just go like ham and just attack with a lot of your non-GX attack. Town. Hope you just Dawn Wings them GX, uh, and then just like knock out a Garb or something as well, and just really just you know go to town that way. All right. So I think we got enough energy onto this uh, this guy over here. I think he's got all the tools he needs. And we're going to go GX for the win. Can I GX? Um, no. Yes, I can. Oh, can. Five or six or less. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Nice. GX for the win. Good call, Gabri. Uh, so we're going to do it. Woo! Do it that way. Hey, we got there. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. I think I got like, uh, I, think I got like one more game in me, and then we're just going to we got to get some other work done. I got to record some videos for Dariums tonight uh, and for the main channel and for, well, my main channel, uh, and for Dariums Competitive tonight so that I have stuff for the weekend because we got a wedding to go I'm going to. to my friend uh, Kevin Baxter's wedding. Our friend Kevin, but we're both going to the wedding, so it's going to be a good time Woo! for sure. Uh, I want to end with Malamar. I want to end with Malamar just gonna doing like, Malamar? yeah, I'm going to end with Malamar doing one more uh, sweet thing. Uh, let's see. Maybe you don't need all eight Ultra Balls. Maybe you don't, but I really like setting up the Malamars early. I really like getting, like, a turn two Dawn Wings. We'll just win you some games. Like, a lot of games, I think. It's really good against most. So... Woo, Kevin Baxter winning. Riley Colbert's gonna be there, too, guys. It's gonna be a party. Oh, yeah. So... All right, last game, guys. Thank you all so much to everybody who has joined. You guys are amazing. Thank you, everybody who's been watching. You guys are fantastic. Appreciate all the love and support. Um... Uh, and uh, yeah, it's been fun. I'm excited to be done with my grad class. Not done, done. I have like, I do technically have a, um, I have like a test left to take, but I've, I've sent in all my final projects and the final projects are the things that take a lot of time and I've gotten A's on everything so far. So I like the final, I the actual test, week, man. the actual test doesn't really matter because I'm going to do fine on it. And so long as I get like a 50 on it, I'm going to get like an A or B in the class. So I should be totally cool in that way. All right. There goes the Orangaroo. Finally getting the, the Roo out here. 
But uh, can we get some free codes in the chat? I actually used all my codes. Yeah, we just used all these codes. Sorry. And it looks like we're playing against Zygarde. Oh, yeah. So it's awesome stuff. And, uh, yeah. But thank you guys to everybody who showed up. You guys are amazing. I'm really excited to be streaming again. Excited to have re regular content coming back out. Like I said earlier. I'm just going to hijack the stream while you're, while you're at Kevin's. Oh, you're going to hijack yeah, the stream? Yeah, I'm just going to be like, while... hey, guys, what's up? Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. I gotta, no, I got to get ready. <laughs> yeah, now I just got to get ready for the wedding, too. So, yeah. But, but yeah, so it's been cool stuff, cool stuff. Definitely excited about the direction of the channel, and I'm excited. I only got something like 20 more days of teaching left, really? which is so awesome. I'm so excited about that. So I am almost not a free, free man. Yet. I am basically, Ooh. I have only got 20 more days to teach. I've got one more class to attend for grad school, I and I am done. Three finals, and I am out for three weeks, and I have summer classes, so it's really not that free. So, yeah, and then I'm going to be streaming like, all the time. I was streaming like every day. Every day we could be out. Here. Oh yeah. Like all the time. Uh, let's go ahead and I think I like starting out with the mysterious treasure for an inky. For Zygarde. For an inky. So I think we're gonna do that. Probably get rid of the. Uh, fine. You don't need N if you're winning. All right. Let's <laughs> <laughs> let's just get the inky here, and then I think is he gonna knock out? Yeah, he probably he definitely gonna knock out that mu next turn. So, yeah. Sycamore. Put the bullets done on the Ranguru. And Sycamore, you think? Uh, maybe not. I think I'm just going to. I'm going to. Cynthia. I'm going to do that. And then I'm just going to Cynthia. Yeah, I'm going to save it. Be a little more conservative. Just going to trust that the deck knows what it's doing. Uh, maybe. Maybe it does. All right. We probably don't need that Get super rod. I think, I think I'm going in. I'm going to Ultra Ball. Oh, I can't Ultra Ball away the Lunala and the. Thing. I could. I think I'm just going to Ultra Ball away. Sure, let's Ultra Ball away the Super Rod. Let's do that. And then, oh, I could Ultra Ball again if I Ranguru. So let's get an Inky. And then I'm going to Ranguru for one. I could. That's a little bit greed. Uh, it's a Malamar, mm. so we're not. And then I think we're just going to retreat into the yeah, Lunala. Like yeah, we've got a nice... Nice little uh, fighting resistance. Oh, yeah. So Lunala is like one of my favorite starters in this deck. This is a great turn one, too. I really don't mind this turn one at all. Two Inkies, Lunala in the active, Oranguru, Mew on the bench. It's pretty much everything you want here. So that is fantastic. Let's go ahead. Yep, just evolve one of these. And then we are going to Sycamore away the Psychic Energy. Don't want to attach it. Want to get energy into the discard pile. And then, oh, what do you know? We're still not hitting float stones. That's uh, that's great. <laughs> uh, but that's fine. We don't actually need. I could full moon star, which is like funny. They'll probably. How many you got down? I got one. It's mm -hmm. not worth it. Um, I could just ultra necrozma here. Throw the ultra necrozma. We down. call it inky as a joke. Yeah, we call it inky as a joke. Uh, you know, we know it's inky. Yeah, um, I can read. I mean, I know Andrew sometimes doesn't. You know. Sometimes I'm not the best reader. But I, I can read. Yeah. Now I can read just fine. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Battle Compressor would be sick in this deck. We wouldn't need the letters. We could just play Battle Compressor. We're not going to any expanded events or else I'd probably try that. Yeah. Let's see. We're going to do that onto... I think we want to charge it onto the Mew in case he, like, GXs, right? Yes. That feels fine. Yeah, let's do that. So just in case my opponent uses the GX, I want to charge... Riley, we've always known this. We've been known this. Been known what? Oh, confirmed to able to read. Andrew up in the air. <laughs> Andrew is a teacher, though. I have a teacher. You only read when absolutely dire circumstances arrive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, let's just pass. I don't want to attach that metal yet, because what if he, like, Guzmas knocks out the Mew? Like, that would be a little bit of a bummer. So I think, and I won't need it, because I could just do choice band metal. That's a knockout. So we're just going to, yeah, we're going to pass. Uh, the Indigo Plateau, those, them some fighting words. <laughs> can't read, can't write, can't state. Yeah. What is up with this moon face? I'm seeing lots of the moon that's face. That's the sun face. Oh, the sun face. The is sun, that the sun is, face. Yeah, that's the sun face. Oh, the moon see. face is dark. Oh, Land's Wrath. Okay, he did not GX. So I could just go up with the Mew here. Kappa, sweet knockout. Uh, though I'd, I would rather not. I would rather do it with the um, Ultra Necrozma because I want to save the Mew. So I'm in a little bit of a tough spot. I don't. He's not going to GX next turn though. He can't. I sent the full moon in the chat, and it's 
Okay. Oh, the full moon. Oh, so let's, that one. Let's go in. I think I need to bench that. That's okay. Forgot about the full moon. And then let's Oranguru instruct for two. I only use the I only letter. Use the new moon. That's good. Letter's good. Let's uh no, I don't want invasion. No. Um let's just It's the YouTube version of Kappa. <laughs> What's the YouTube version of Kappa? The, the, the moon. moon <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're right. It's the it's like the knockoff Kappa. I actually like weirdly like Lily here better. No, it, Riley, I don't. I think I like Lily here better, I, yeah, guys. I do. Lily's good. Because then I can let her, and if I would have hit something like a discarding card, then I could have gotten more energy into the discard pile. But to you, last, knock that, you, knock, you knock that thing out, don't you? I, oh, I do knock the thing oh, out, yeah. for sure. Like, he's, he's a goner. But that's, uh, all right. So let's, uh, the Photon Geyser. Yep, tons of damage. Two ten, get in there with your young self, Mew. Take a big knockout. Do your thing. Okay, good stuff. And we got a metal energy back, so that's good. Also got some energy into the discard pile. Also good. Uh, what's bad is that I cannot do two hundred damage next turn. But what I can do is I can maybe do psychic double psychic recharge, or metal energy attached to alternate Necrozma. double psychic recharge, and I can Guzma out the Lele. That would be pretty good. But, you know, if they can Verdict GX, that would be a little bit mm. of a pain if they Verdict GX this Ultra Necrozma the following turn. I really would like to knock out this Zygarde, but I've used my one choice band. I would need... Ooh, you can oh, you can knock it out now. Oh, we're good. You're okay. in. Okay, I don't think I can knock out this thing. Though. Oh, wait. I just need to knock out the active because I only have two Malamars out. Never mind, you can't do it. Yep, no so way. now we're going to get that third Mal... Unless you get it, The though. third Ink... Ink Daddy, yep, there he is. And we are going to attach metal and probably just double psychic recharge here. Yep. Onto that thing. And then yeah, we'll just Cynthia. I'm fine with that because we get to see some new cards and I don't need to Guzma in order to take knockout. So sweet stuff. Let's get in there with that Cynthia. And we'll probably we'll put a full stone on that thing. Just because I'm not really worried about field blower or losing my mobility right now, feeling pretty confident. Sure, let's uh, let's field blower my opponent's floatstone. Just make it weird for them in case they like wanted to do anything else. Right. You know, in okay. case they wanted to pivot to anything else. I think that's good. And then I kind of like all these cards in my hand. I don't mind those at I all. Hold on to that. There's no I think I, mm, I could throw How like letter. I don't have like any more energy down. Yeah, so I think I let her for these guys and then just ultra ball them away. Um, yeah, let's ultra ball away that and probably the second field blower. Let's just ultra ball those away. And then let's get a Malamar. Yeah, just to have. So I'm going to do that preemptively just to have more energy in the discard pile just in case my opponent decides to end me or something. And then I just have energy in the discard pile. Energy in the discard pile is just always good. Um, yep, so we're rocking, we're going to have three. Yeah, three Sin, Photon Geyser. Sin 27, I know, I had to trade like 18 packs Get there. For them. Get there. It was rough, that's why we didn't have anything, that's why we don't have anything but Malamar and Buzzroll Buzz right, right now, because we didn't guys, have any extra packs to trade. And you can Next notice, time. notice that we're playing no mirrors. <laughs> yeah, right, nobody else has them. Nobody else is It's fine, it's fine, we need the, to show the people. And we do need to show the deck off, yeah, the deck's super cool, it's a lot of fun to play, so... You know, I think that there are just going to be a lot of psychic decks out there. That kind of see seems to be where things are going. Do you know if you're going to be getting more Forbidden Light codes for sale on the website? We should, but that's an Aaron question. I don't really know. Aaron's the one who runs the website, so uh, we should be, though. Uh, can I send my deck list to Andrew? Uh, sorry, Xander, I'm not taking deck list at this time because uh, I got to go got to go film some more videos. But uh, all right, we are getting end. And we have a lot of people, people. and evolved people online. <laughs> I, every time he says it, I just can't. Uh, I can't. Oh my can't gosh! Can't keep the laughter people. together. It just <laughs> too funny. All right, cell connector, fifty damage. All right. Well, you seem to have bamboozled me out of my. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, we're totally fine here because I yeah, can. I have totally. invasion, which is awesome. You just need one more Malamar, right? Or an attach. Right, or and I'm going to actually field blower my own float stone here. I feel like I end myself to two first. Yeah. Yeah, just to see what I end up drawing. If I draw a psychic, that's good. Oh, oh. yeah. And uh, we, uh, we would say got there. All right, let's do it the hard way, though. 
Uh, let's go get the Malamar. Oh, yeah. And then we are going to get to do our young psychic recharge three times. And knock out four um, way more than over. enough damage. So that's it, guys. Got to show off the Malamar deck a bunch. I think that we're in a more winning spot. I think our deck is in a, in a better space with the Pretty professor's sure. letters in it. And I also think that... Hey, you guys want to rip some packs real quick? Let's, let's, rip, some some, let's rip some packs. You guys want to rip some packs? Go out with a bang? All right, let's do that. So... Um, I think Let me that rip these packs. you want to rip these packs. I'll All right, Natalie packs. gets to rip these packs. All right, because oh, you yeah. open the Ultra Prism too. Uh, yeah, you yeah, could that's just what I mean. you could just do that. Yeah. Do yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need Alrighty. to switch spots. Oops, we're back online. Okay, <laughs> Free let's pack go, watching. packs. We got 15 we got? Ultra Prism. First, open that. We're opening the chest. Open that chest. Big Radicate. Oh, Radicate. Nice. Uh, so yeah, we got that. But anyways, thank you guys all so much for coming out tonight. Check out the stream. I am excited to be back. It's a lot of fun. Of course, thank you to everybody who donated. You guys are amazing. Shout out to all the Patreon subs. You guys are incredible as well. I'm going to be doing the drawing for my Patreon this weekend to see who wins the giveaway prizes. So that is awesome too. And then I'm going to be doing some upgrades to Patreon in the weeks to come as far as different tiers and offering you know, other benefits to my people who are already subbed. So you guys are awesome. Two rares. I'm also, Ooh. oh yeah, we got ourselves full art leafy on Anna Cyrus there. And then uh, also for those of you guys, if there's like anybody interested at all in getting into old decks or like things like that, I'm also selling old decks now on my Etsy store. I've got three decks for sale. I got a Blastoise, a Haymaker, and a Bazapdos. These are cards that are out of my personal collection, so I'm just like collecting them, Bazaptos. and I have extras that I am like selling because. I don't have it like super streamlined yet. So I have like a few extra copies of each of them, but they are for sale in the Etsy store for anybody who's looking to get into them. Uh, I love just kind of spreading the love of these old decks and old formats. And it's something that, you know, is a lot of fun for me to do to collect extra copies of the old decks, but I don't need the extra copies. So I'm, you know, I'm selling some of those away. So that is uh, a lot of fun for me too. And uh, hopefully, you I know, love Bizaptos. Uh, I think, oh, Bizaptos is so much fun. I mean, Electrode's one of my favorite Pokemon. So that's like, probably why. Right here. You know. Oh, we got a Dawn Wings. This oh, is like yeah. our seventh Dawn Wings. So when I, need I, some of those. when I sell the decks, I actually like repackage them in the Ultra Pro thing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got a little repackage. This is what the Bizaptos deck would look like if you were to order it. It's got, some nice cards in it. So that is, uh, that's that. And, and shout out to everybody who has purchased decks already. I think I've sold like four or five haymakers. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for that. And also uh, sold one of the Blastoise decks too. And the Blastoise deck is so fun. That thing Electrode. is amazing. So Electrode super, GX. super sweet stuff. Thoughts on Electro GX? That card is sweet. I mean, that's, it was really good back in 2006 when it right. came out, uh, the original version. Right, we right. We had that Tyranitar deck with that Electro GX in it from 2006. How do you know what old cards are good and valuable? eBay, probably. eBay lets you know. But also, uh, you guys could check out Jason Klasinski's blog. If you want to read about old formats and see, like, which cards are good and which cards are playable, Jason Klasinski is, like, world-time uh Three-time world champion. He's uh, just a great player. He's, like, really talented. He's been playing since the beginning. And he has a blog where he just literally has detailed every single old format, uh, well, up till 2006. So from the beginning of the game to 2006, he's, like, detailed what the good cards are. And you can check out that blog if you want to go. It's uh, on any of my old decks. You could you could read about them there, any of the old deck videos. Yes, buy a Forbidden Light okay, Pack and see you. what we could get. All We're right. We're going to purchase one. This is the last thing. Well, we We're going to purchase, purchase one. One Forbidden Light Pack. World Time 3 Champion. Yes. Just a Leafeon. I know. I'm sorry, Just man. a Leafeon. I'm trying. <laughs> All right. All We're righty. Let's go. A Zygarde would not be bad. We don't um, have one yet. We don't so have, well, one. We have one. Also, a Greninja would be good if we could get our hands. Oh, there's a Frogadier. Oh, oh, a Vivian. Vivian. All right, awesome. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the stream. You guys are awesome. It's been a lot of fun. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel if you hadn't already. Check me and Natalie out on Twitter if you have Twitters at enjoyfriend, E-N-J-O-I friend. At Natakazam. At Natakazam, just spelled exactly like you would think it is. So anyways, peace.